good morning. Now, yesterday morning, I nearly got taken out by a blooming um, bin lorry, didn't I? Sliding down the hill, because it was minus one as I came through the villages. 11 degrees this morning. I don't understand. Anyway, the place is flooded now. The river in the village next to mine is actually up to the top of the bridge. So if we get any more, it's going to come over. I won't be able to get home. Anyway, good morning. Good news. I oh, know it's nice, isn't it? Specially made. Anyway, have a look at today's menu. Here it is. Coming up today, classic men's shirt, which is what, exactly what I'm wearing, made by Paul Clark. Uh, nine o'clock quilted to go. Now, nine o'clock isn't quilted to go. It's all things quilting. It's all things quilting. So I've got some quilted to go. I've got some books about quilting. I've got some pre-cuts. I've got lots of lovely things to show you in the nine o'clock hour. 10 o'clock is a new uh, year organisation. Uh, Paul Clark has made us a lovely um, organiser to hang in whichever room we want to hang it in. And then 11 o'clock got winter sale, which is fabric, cloth kits, toys, all sorts of things like that. So quickly, have a look at this. This is the organiser that Paul has made. Now, you see the bottom one there? That's not a see-through pocket. Look, it's a, it's a proper pocket look, but it's got Lamiflex on it. Now, I don't know if you've seen Lamiflex before. It, says it does the same job as Odicote. Obviously, it looks a little bit different to Odicote, but you iron it on. Show you all of that in the 10 o'clock hour. Isn't that lovely? So Paul's going to show you how to make that. And we've got some fabrics and everything like that. So um, we'd love you to get in touch. We'd love you to get in touch. The best way to do that is go to the website, www.sewingquarter.com. Here it is. And then what you do is you click on Watch Today's Show. Uh, and then if you just scroll down the, oh, there you go, scroll down the page, you'll see the box that says message to studio, write a quick message in there. And uh, now keep it short and sweet, that one, because you can only have 140 characters in that one. You can cut, keep typing at your end, but at our end, we get, you get cut off after a little while. They go through to producer Hannah upstairs, who is a little bit worse for wear this morning. She's fine, she says she's fine, the Guinness will be out of her system soon. And, um, and then uh, send that through to her and she will send it through to us at the desk. While we're there, have a look at products today's show. In a minute, all of those will disappear. And all of today's, um, <coughs> excuse me, items, fabric, kits, bundles, everything like that will all start appearing there. Click on them and pop them in your basket. Or if you're watching later on, uh, and you're thinking, what, what John's had on today? You can just have a look there, click on it, pop them in your basket. Or of course, talk about popping them in your basket, go to the top of the page. You see there are that where it says homegrown chicks and eggs on blue fabric. Um, we will have whatever we're selling at the time will be appearing there. You just click on it and add it to your basket. Uh, you, can, you can check out your basket as many times as you like. I don't know why we've gone to that so quickly. We're still talking about the website, but never mind. Oh, okay. So uh, uh, if you want to email us, <laughs> send an email. I think Hannah just clicked on the wrong thing then, didn't she? Studio at sewingquarter.com is the email address. Send us your pictures in. If you've made a quilt to go, if you made a quilt that you want us to see, or if you've uh, made an organiser, let us have a look. Studio at sewingquarter.com, or if you want to send a longer message in. Okay, right. So, look at this lovely shirt. Right? This, this is what Paul's making in the first hour. Pockets, collar. Um, have a look, it all comes out of a book. It all comes out of a book. We've got the three fabrics available. Now, that's a, that, you know what, Hannah, when we came first into the studio, Hannah went, oh, look, John, there's the same fabric as your shirt on the table there. She is all there today. Looks a bit different, actually. It isn't, it's the same. There you go. Uh, so, look at the price, 3 99 for half a metre. It's a cotton check, navy and red, heavy cotton check. It is like a lump, this one is like a lumberjacky shirt, this one. Three pounds and 99 pence. I'll just move that book out of the way, there you go. And remember, if you need more, now, uh, we'll ask Paul about the yardaging, uh, the meterage, but if you need more than a metre and a half, then you need to ring the call centre. Let's just look at the width before we go any further, actually. No, no, there you go, there you go. Nice, isn't it? Nice. Even if you're not going to make this shirt, you can make a love. And that is lovely. That is beautiful. There's a tape measure in there, Jay. It's fine, thanks. Right. Okay, then the other two fabrics we've got this hour. Uh, the one that Paul's going to be demonstrating with is this one. Now, this... I haven't got a shirt in this one, no. No, but somebody has. Uh, Simon. Simon used to work here. Thank you, Simon. 
Uh, Simon that used to work here, he's got a shirt in this fabric. Now this isn't heavy, like the, this is like a lovely cotton, just a normal cotton shirting, this one. Still three pounds and nine times pence for half a meter. It's nice, isn't it? Now that's one you're gonna see Paul demonstrate with. Three pounds and nine times pence for half a meter. And then the other one, which I love, I do love this other one here. Um, same as this one I've just shown you, but in the blue and green. That's nice, isn't it? That's nice. So again, it's cotton. It's three pounds and nine times pence for half a meter. That's the green and blue gingham check fabric. So those two, the last two, are more of a normal shirt weight. And this one, it's not, it's not heavy, heavy, but it's just got like that brushed cottony feel to it. You know, the kind of lumberjacky feel to it. It's not heavy. You wouldn't wear it as, um, I've got some, or I did have some lumberjack shirts that you could wear as a jacket or anything. It's still a, a shirt weight, but it's slightly heavier than those two. The pattern comes out of this amazing book, which I've never seen before. It's only ever been on air once before. Bird at style sewing vintage modern. Um, I'll take you through it, but there are 19 creative projects in there. I won't do it now, but it's a lovely, lovely book, 1920s to the 30s. You see, and then it's just got all 40s to 50s, lovely drawings and things. Um, Button-down shirt, that's, the, that's me there with glasses on. I look a bit younger there and a bit more hair and more German. But look, you see, look, you can, if you want to, you can make that dress out of these gorgeous ginghams, couldn't you? Do you know what I mean? I'll go through the book properly with you later, because it goes through all the different ages. £24.99. We're going well. We haven't got to steal. You have to look at my shirt as I'm walking across. Oh, no, that wasn't very good. <laughs> Suits you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's nice as well. Thank you. Is that one of yours? Yes, you see, it's first day I'm wearing this oh, one today. Very nice. Right. I love this. Thank you very much for you my are, new you're shirt. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, let's just start, let's just start. Did you have a nice Christmas first of all? I had a fabulous Christmas, yes, it's, really good. It's weird, isn't it, because I went to a wedding two days ago, people talking about Christmas, like, why are they talking about Christmas two days ago? It's like, it's only two days ago, it's that <laughs> odd. It was months ago for us, so wasn't it? Yeah, well, we get back in the summer. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> right, so, let's start yes. with the book. So it's in the book, the Frank, is that the name of the shirt, Frank? Is he Frank, I, do you think? No idea why it's called Frank Button Down. <laughs> Button-down shirt. Oh, there's no button-down? Um, no, I think the button-down is purely for the pockets. Oh, yeah, because when I read on, it on in, the the, in the thing yesterday, I presumed, and I forgot to look. So, yeah, anyway. I was expecting button-down collar, but no. So, so no, how do we start? Is there a pattern in the book? We start. The back of the book, there is all the, the pattern sheets. Right. Now, these are pretty similar to the Great Picture Sewing Bee books. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They're all... Out on there in multi sizes. Oh um, my word! Yes. Yeah, you you need you go cross-eyed looking for the sizes on these. Yes. But, uh, they're all on there. Uh, there's about uh, nine. How pieces. do we know which one we're looking for? So right. You, but that's a bodice. Right. That's a ladies' one. Oh, there's does. more sheets. There's, there's more sheets. sheets. Yeah. And oh, so you look up the project that you're doing. And it tells you on each sheet which. Projects are yes. on there, so you do a lot of hunting around. But yes, there's, yes, there's, yes. there's only two sheets to look for. Yeah, but don't, and don't both sides as well. Exactly, you don't yeah, cut so them out of nope, here nope. because the pattern. Otherwise, you lose the other pieces then. Yeah, just quickly look at that one. So, you've got um, one, one a, two, three, four. You've got the front dress there in the yeah. grey, uh, but you've got all the different pattern pieces in the. So basically, you've got to try. Oh, sorry, I'll let you have a look at that. Sorry. You have to trace off, because look, they're on the other side as well. So you need to find your pattern pieces and then trace them off onto some pattern cutting paper or yeah. whatever you've got, really. Yeah. Don't you? Right. And also got... bear in mind, there are no seam allowances on any of these patterns. Oh, now that's a really important. That's really yeah, important. You have to add your own. Uh, this, they call it tracing paper. It's actually pattern cutting paper. You get three big sheets in there. Is that what you've used? I did, yes, yeah, I used yeah. that. And it's um, see-through enough that you can lay it over the top and still see the lines oh, okay. is that how through you the paper. Yes. OK, so that's £2.49. Now, you've got to remember, like Paul just said, there is no... So this is like all, all the patterns I make, I never put seam allowance on them either. So this no. is going back to old, old days. 
Well, old fashioned, <laughs> I was going to say, olden days. Old fashioned pattern cutting where the patterns do not have a seam lapse on them. So you, when you cut out your fabric, you need to, you need to mark your um, seam lapse on there as well, don't yes. you? Which I didn't. I just cut the pattern as it is. And then I cut the seam allowance on when I was cutting the fabric out. Right. Well, this is exactly how I. This is exactly yes. how as I was trained. Yeah. Your pattern is your pure, your purely your pattern. Yes. And then you, I always used to cut five eighths of an inch. Yeah. Seam lines of the fabric around that. Now we have got a tracing wheel, which we'll get for you in a second to show you how you can do that quite easily. But in what I used to do is get my tape measure. Mark five eights, mark five eights, mark, and then literally just cut it out. Another way is get two pencils and put an elastic band round them. And as you draw around that line, the second pencil will draw that line for you. Oh. And that is exactly five eighths to How the weird. width of two standard pencils. I never knew that. Another little so trick you learn somebody new taught every me. Day, don't yeah. You? Okay, brilliant. So that is the front piece which you, you cut two of. So right. I'll, I'll start with this because this is showing you how to put the placket on. Now, the placket is your, your model. buttonhole band and your button band. Yes. So this is what this is a placket here. Just show you. It's coming in now. So that this is the placket with the buttonholes on there. And that's another placket you put on the other side with the buttons themselves on. So that what happens is... Oh, sorry. Can I just come back? That, so when you put them together, that centre front, where your buttonhole is, that's the centre front of your shirt. Okay. OK. Um, this is unusual from other shirts that I've made in that you put a placket on both fronts. Oh, OK. On, on yeah, normally this you shirt, fold one back, don't you? You just fold one back, you just fold it over twice. Yes. So you're not putting the placket on. Fold it over twice like yes. that and stitch it. But this shirt called for a placket on both, so oh, I, okay. that's what I've done. Yeah, no, no, that's yeah, right. That's I thought right. I'd follow it that way. So. The only thing to look for, especially with this fabric, is when you're cutting the two pieces out, obviously you cut two with the fabric folded in half, try and get your lines going Oh, yes, straight. match, match. Yes, of course, of course, of course, of course. Otherwise, you get... What's the matter, Timothy? Sorry, there's... I just need to move that out of the way because it's oh, glaring. Okay. Right. Take this. You finished with the Otherwise, now, yes, yes. You? Just yes. glaring with the camera. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, because if the fabric the, the Paul's using here is the one across the bottom there, the book that Pat comes out of is twenty four ninety nine. Right. So now, so how did you make sure when you were cutting across that you got your stripes in the same right, place? Right. What I did, I folded it in half lengthways to yes. get, and then I folded that on a line. Right. So I got for the centre back, you've got that straight line running right down. Yes. But that fabric had a tendency to turn a little bit, yes. so. On the selvage edges, I matched it up and pinned it all the way along. Right, OK. And then hopefully that will get the straight line going straight across. Not hopefully. Not, it well, well, didn't always. I still have to juggle a little bit. Yeah, my matches, isn't it? I've got a cross match. Yeah. Right. So you've got your two front pieces. So then you've got your two placket pieces. Yes. The placket piece is interfaced. Right, interfacing. So I've already, already ironed that on. Save some time. I've got it in black and I've got it in white. I'd use the white one on this one, obviously. Now, so this is a soft and light white iron-on. So it's not the medium weight, it's kind of a lighter weight. Uh, I think this is the, the hemline one, which... Oh, that's the hemline one, saying, and this is, is the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is a little bit more substantial than okay. that. That's right. a bit... Okay. Um, now, again, when you're cutting this one out, if you cut that on the bias, you would have the same effect that you've got on the top of the pockets here. Oh, right, so yes. So you've got, you've got your choice there. Oh, yes, that'd be quite nice. Because I like that down way the front you don't of have to shirt. match the, the stripes exactly. going across. If you cut it on the bias, then you've got crisscross going. Yeah, there you go. there, exactly. That's what the placket would look like if you cut it on the bias like that. And again, you could do the same with the collar and have that go in a different yes. way. I like to try and switch that up when I'm doing shirts. Right. So I'm just going to sew along that and then show how we fix this and turn it back out. Yes. I've done it on the other piece already so that you can show what a finished what one looks like. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> I've got it now, I've got it, got it, got it. Got it. Quite early on. 
63. I'm looking at the wrong page. Uh, so, if you could quick, while Paul's just stitching that, I'll just show you the pattern itself. So you've got the pattern itself. It shows you how to lay it out on your fabric. So all the pieces that you need are, are laid out on the fabric there. And then it gives you all that. This is the instructions of the placket that we're doing now. The, the, they're very, very simply, the pocket detailing there. It does go, look, you see how thorough. So each of the drawings has got a number on it, and then each of the numbers corresponds to the written uh, work there. And then there's the artist's impression <laughs> there. Again, you could put different panels in. Yeah, like yeah, done, yeah. Uh, they put He's put a little yoke on there, hasn't they? They've been done the point on the pockets. Yeah. You want to get really adventurous. But pattern doesn't come with that. OK, uh, so. fabric. We've had a question. How much fabric do we need? I think that we worked out at two and a half metres. Yeah, two and a half Right, let's look at the sizes. Oh, now that's the point. What size is the pattern? I did the to? larger size, and that went up to um, birder size, which if we go back in the so book. So you, you need two and a half metres to make the fabric, which I presume... Right, hang on, that's for 55 inch wide fabric. So you might need a little... How wide was ours in the end? Ours wasn't 55 inch wide fabric, was it? So I think you'd, you'd be better off getting a bit more because this is 2.3 2 metres for 55 inch wide. So I'd say I'd, I'd get three, to be yeah. on the safe side, I'd get yeah. three. Yeah, do you have the call centre there? In this book on page 15, it gives you the men's size chart. Oh, OK. And the largest size it goes up to is a birder size 60, which is an actual chest size of 47 and a quarter. Where are you? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. So it's not... So is this the, this that is is the, the largest the size? The largest size. So this yeah. is the, the size birder size 60, US yeah. size 50. Which I'd say is a men's... Large to slightly extra large. Uh, well, I'd say this was. I'd, I'd say this was extra. Yeah. If you bought it. If you bought it in the shop. Yeah. Shelf. Yeah. You'd buy extra large for this. But um, it's got very roomy. Look. So I'm 44 chest, and like a 30 inch. Chest. <laughs> 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 Everybody laughed at the same point then. Um, so, uh, uh, so obviously it's plenty, plenty, plenty room for me. So uh, so that's the largest size goes up to. And I would say we always used to say. For a man's shirt, you always buy three and a quarter yards, which is a bit like three metres, isn't it, really? Yeah, for a long sleeve shirt, I would buy three. Yeah, so, so for our fabric, three. buy yeah. three, don't buy two and a half. Yeah. Right. right. So you've, you've just stitched that plastic sti down I the front. I stitched that right side to the inside. Now, this is the inside piece. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Put the right side to the wrong side on the shirt front. Yes. Because then what we're going to do is turn it over, turn it again now. Best to iron. I was going to say, do you want me to iron? iron? Yes, please. Switch that on. I think it it's is on. on. It's definitely on. It's on. Um, put it on during the. Yes, I put it on earlier, and everyone's like, "Oh, what's that smell?" <laughs> <laughs> right, there you right. Go. Thank you. So I've ironed the placket towards the front. Yeah. Iron that seam towards the main body. Then, what I'll do is just fold over about a quarter of an inch. Right. And press that as well. You see, whenever I've done uh, plackets, I've done it twice that width. So I don't have to... <laughs> you're right there. It's hot. <laughs> it's behind. a bit warm. I don't... I, so I fold it completely over. So you haven't got to right. do your quarter of an inch at the end. It just goes... The whole thing goes over. I do that with the, the ordinary fold on a... On the non buttonhole side. Yes. So if I just fold that, the interfacing will hold it a bit into place. And then I can just run that down. Also, we don't normally have steam on this iron, but Lucy wanted steam yesterday, so oh, it's the okay. steam that's catching you. Let me just turn that off. Ah, there we go. Okay. okay. It's quite easy working with the gingham because you've got lines to You've got some to line gingham, up. Yeah. So now you fold this over and it's quite a narrow band. Yes. So obviously you wanted a, a wider buttonhole band. Or you pin. could or pins, thank you. You could make that wider. Yes. So then I'm just going to but you're following in, the pattern as it is in the book. As so, it is, yes. So if, you, if, you're, if you're experienced at dressmaking, 
you'd be able to make these wider and shorter. But if you're a new, a new beginner, then follow the pattern for the first time, because it works. But then you might find the second time you use it, you think, oh, I might make that one wider, or I might make that one a little bit different. Yes. Because that's how we learn, isn't it? And right? again, and yeah. And so on this one, I think it's quite, it's quite a wider yes, one. It's yeah. um, a good um, two and a half inch. So you've got more to play about with. So I'm doing quite a small fold on that. Yes. So you would go down there matching up your lines yes, as well as you can. So if I just sew that on the top one, and I can show you on the other piece yeah. how it ends up. I must do this because it normally would take about six hours to make a shirt. Yeah. Yeah, quite easily. So that would get put into place, lined up, and sewn all the way down. So I'll show you the one yeah, that I've done. Right. And that is the piece opposite side yes, yeah. of the shirt. So you can see the band has been stitched down that side, folded over and ironed and pressed, and then you top stitch along that, both edges. Yeah, about an eighth of an inch in. About or, as, or as or close, close to the edge as you can, possible, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Again, if you've got a wider band, you've got more to play with. Yeah, of course. Now bear in mind, that is going to be your buttonhole band. Yes. And that will just be the one that you sew your buttons on to. Yes. So that piece the right way up that would be your your front. Oppos opposite side yes okay yep right so that's your two front plackets done yeah both done the same so once you've got the idea of doing one you've got the idea for the other yep so pop that one so then what do you do now. next then what do i do next this is a standard routine i use for all the shirts that i do is the next piece is to put the yoke on so the yoke, for those who don't know, is, oh, uh, right. <laughs> is uh, you've not, have you got Could one be. on your shirt? Yes. So you can't see it uh -huh. on yours either. It's this section here that it's, goes across the top of the shoulders. A bit across the back. Can you see across, oh, hang on, we'll just get the camera in there. You won't be able to see, I've seen this pattern, but there's a seam going across there. So it's this bit that goes across the shoulder, mm -hmm. and then you turn around, and it literally comes just in front of the shoulder seam along there. Okay. So attaching this to the back of the shirt. Yeah. It is in two pieces. Do you do a yoke on every shirt that you do? Yes, yeah, apart from the uh, the bowling shirts, the like, Hawaiian shirts. Yeah. They are, just have a piece and then it's just seamed across the yeah. top. Yeah. So I got used to doing a yoke on all the shirts. So the yoke sandwiches the bottom piece of the back yes. of the shirt. So you put one right side on the outside, one <coughs> right side on the inside. So you sandwich basically the, pan, the, the back section between two yokes. Yep. Like that. Yeah. Stitch across yeah. and then open them out and then top stitch to fix that in place. So this, if you look at the shirt, this is the back. So if you were wearing this shirt, this is the back of the shirt. This yeah. is, and your shoulders are here and that's just tipping over to the front of the shirt. Yeah, that will just sort of come over yeah. the top like that. Okay. Okay, now this, this is the fun bit. There's, there's a few ways of doing this. Now this pattern showed me a new way. Oh, okay. So oh, that, was, that yeah. was nice. So we're now at the shoulder seam. So I'll show you two ways of doing this. So that this is the way that was in the pattern, in the right. pattern book, which was quite interesting. So what are you doing? So I'm attaching the, the front piece, yeah. which we just put the placket on, to right sides together to just one piece of the yoke yeah. at the back. Yeah. Now, the book says to just stitch that into place. Yeah. Okay, which we'll do. And then I can just quickly show you the other one, which is the more usual method. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so let's watch, let's do watch the, the this is the bird method this where is, you've sewn. Yeah, this is the method in the book. The front panel to only one of the yoke yep. sections along the shoulder seam. So again, you, you've allowed that one centre seam allowance, which is what they suggested in the book. Yep. So that is your front of your shirt. Yeah. Attached to the back. Yeah. Oh, well, attached to the yoke. Hang on, I'll just, I'll just wait for the camera to come down. Right, so this is the front section here. Yep. 
This is your shoulder that's seam, yolk. and that's the back yoke. That's the but back. you've only stitched it to one. This is the other. Remember, we put, had two yoke sections. You've only sewn the front panel to one of the yokes. Yeah. Right. And then. So what the book suggests, iron that iron, flat. Yeah. So we do a quick, sorry. quick skip over to the ironing board. Yeah. It's important to do a lot of pressing when you're doing yes, clothes. Yes, exactly. Well, this is it, you see, isn't it? Stage, because uh, yeah. Yeah, as a dressmaker, you do press every single stage, whereas quilting, you don't necessarily press at every single stage. So, I so press you press that the seam into towards the yolk. The yolk. Now, this piece, I'm going to press the yolk, the shoulder part of the yolk. Yeah. Get it so I can get at it. Yeah. I'm going to turn over the same seam allowance. Yes. Now this is how I do it. Oh, that's it. So is this a different way? This is a different this, way to you do this it. This is different to the way I do it. Okay. Yeah. So you fold over that seam allowance if we go back to that yeah. previous bit now. Right, okay, so let's say just so you know, just to are you upstairs? This is the front shirt. That's the silver front section. This is the back of the shirt. We've pressed that seam allowance into the yoke, and we've pressed the same amount of seam allowance on the bit of yoke that we haven't sewn into, into also inside the yoke. Inside. Then you just match that up yeah. with that seam that you've just sewn. Pin that into place. Now you don't okay. have to worry about matching your checks here because you won't be able to. It won't, no. There's um, two, two ways of doing shirts. If you do, um, if you have a straight line across the yoke at the back, it will never match up at the front. Yes. Or you can have um, like a hash at the back, a diamond at the back, and then you can have it straight across the front there. Exactly, yeah. But you end up with the seam down the middle. There. <coughs> Lots of different ways of working Okay, so shirts. then you top stitch that down. So then top stitch that down. And that's the yoke enclosed. Yeah. Let me see your so yoke, the and other then way, I'll do the fabrics. All right. This is the way I, I learned, so I've always done it this way. So we're still starting on the, the right sides together. Yeah. So this is your back piece. Yeah, it's so a again, little bit more fiddly, but... Yours is a bit fiddly. But it does it all in one go. Oh, oh, OK. OK. You still attach that first one. But you're attaching your... Front panel to all of the yoke, only... No, just still that one piece. Oh, OK. So attach it just at both ends. Now, this, there's two, again, two methods here yeah. of doing it. Uh, one is the burrito method, which basically you, oh, okay. you roll everything it's up. Good, I heard that one, yeah. And tuck that inside, and you roll the back up and tuck that inside as well. Right. So you've got everything rolled up inside. Right. Then you bring that bottom piece round up. Oh my goodness. And over. And then you just sew that straight across. So you're sewing all three pieces at the same time. Yeah. But then you've all your so burrito stuffing. Do it, do it, right, so, we do it. Okay. So, so, so we can see what happens. So we can see what happens. So that's. Some people frown upon this method because it's. Bit, I'm frowning, it, it Paul. <laughs> It creases everything that you've just been doing, but that's, that's what you're ironing. Well, yeah, but that's what you're ironing for, isn't it? I tend to just bring everything to one side yeah, rather yeah. than roll it all up. But this method, called the burrito method, because it looks like a burrito. I don't really know what a burrito <laughs> is. Well, it's food. Food it's this food. early in the morning. Don't start. It's only <laughs> half past eight. We can't talk about food yet. OK, so then you're stitching those three pieces together. Right, just make sure the camera's got that. along there. There we go. So you're stitching all three layers together in all one All three layers. Way. Just careful you don't catch the, <coughs> the front and the back pieces. If they're neatly rolled up, they'll yep. be out of the way. The thing about these good quality fabrics is you're going to press all those creases out anyway yeah. afterwards. OK. Then everything just pulls through. Oh, right. Hang on, let's so just get just that. Just pulling all yeah, that's that it, through. Fine. Do you have to pull it through a particular way? No, no just no. pull it through, and there you have. Oh, that's fantastic! The back yoke and and the then would you then piece. top stitch that to keep it in? So yeah. it's going to look identical Press that to top my stitch method. It. it will, but you're just sewing it once and top How stitching brilliant. it. How brilliant! Oh, well, I'm not frowning now. No, 
See, it that's works. very good. So right, don't do anything ways. else because I've got to go and do fabrics. Okay. Marcia says, morning, John and Paul. Uh, are you okay, John? You don't, I'm fascinated. I'm absolutely <laughs> fascinated. I'm good, thank you. Well, I've got to take the, I'll just toss this up. Right? I've got the book. I'll get Jay to bring the book over for me. <coughs> so, we've got the three fabrics. This is the fabric that I'm modelling. We're advising three. Well, let me just measure how wide it actually is. Just get me the book, Jay, would you? Oops. <coughs> I'll tell you exactly how wide it is. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Remember, if you need more than a metre and a half, you do have to ring the call centre. We've not fixed it. Yeah, this is only 45 inches wide, so I would get three metres of this. I would get a good three metres of that, um, which is six units, um, which is only 24 pounds, isn't it? Uh, so, the navy and the red heavy cotton check, which is the one I'm wearing, £3.99 for half a metre. Uh, if you've got that in your basket, please check out. Please check out. Remember, you, it's not yours until you've checked out. The one that Paul is uh, demonstrating with is this lovely one. Um, blue and red and white. Pink and blue gingham check. 3.99 half metre. As I say, that's more of a shirt weight, isn't it? The, this one, the one I'm wearing, Paul, is slightly heavier, isn't it, than, the, than this weight that you're working with now. Both still beautiful. Both, still, and all, both are 100% cotton. Both 100% cotton, but um, that one's more of a normal shirt weight, whereas this one is just that little bit heavier, tiny little bit heavier. Okay, and then this, I love this one. I think, yes. In your break, could you make one in this one for me? Okay. In your six-hour break. <laughs> um, love this. The thing is, we're showing you how to make a man shirt up. Make a Do you know what? It would look lovely. I'll tell you in a second. 3 dollars for half a metre. This one and the red check one. You know, like those, make a lady's blouse, cause, and then you do that. I'm not going to do it because you see my big belly. But you know when you, do, you leave these two loose and you tie it at the front there, make it kind of a 50s, and it automatically gives you a cinched in waist, even if you haven't got one. Um, I can't do it because I've all got white. No, Hannah, no. Hannah's got a top on today that's got like a curry stain down the front. And she's telling everyone it's fabric dye, but it's so it's so obviously so obviously curry, right? Uh, so it's vintage modern. This this is a brilliant book. Um, it goes through the and also we love it because it's got the ring binding here, so you can lay it flat while you're working with it. Um, it's just oh, I love that. I love that. Uh, uh, do you know what? I've not seen this book before. Who's had this book before then? Oh, I, have you done it before? Have you worked with it before? Um, I just love, so you've got the 1920s and 30s there. I've not seen this book. This, look, I love the projects in this book. I'm going to have to take this away and then um, ask Scheduling to schedule me more out of this book because I love it. Then we go 1940s to 50s. Uh, and look, and then obviously we've got, now uh, there I am as a slimmer, younger boy. But there's men's and ladies' um, things in here. Uh, you see, look, these, these fabrics in that dress would be gorgeous, wouldn't they? Love, love, love. And then, uh, well, look at all the patterns. Uh, Celia pyjama set. Oh, Hannah, I can see you in that, Hannah. Not. You can make that for Karen, your flatmate. Well, she'd look lovely in it. Uh, 1960s now. What were the 60s like, Paul? I don't know. No, oh, you can't, oh, they said if you were there, you can't remember. They, I just wasn't around. Um, then we've got the Jamie sh uh, shift dress. Now, our friend Jamie's just had a baby, hasn't she? Didn't know, if, know she was expecting. I love this. I love the Jackie dress. Love, love, love the Jackie dress. We'll have to get some fabric in for that, I think, for the summer. Um, oh, has he got a ruffly shirt on? Is that ruffly shirt in here as well? Yes. <gasps> Stirrup pants. Where's the ruffly shirt? Hang on. Oh, look, David tuxedo shirt. Now, I have to say, I've got, I've got um, Paul Smith shirts like this. When ruffle and some of them had huge ruffles on them because they were very fashionable a while ago. And then went to the 1970s. Now, I do remember the 70s, my era, the 70s. I will survive. Oh, that's nice. Joni Bell sleeve top. Oh, I think this is. Uh, sorry, I'll stop being self indulgent now. Oh, look, Hannah, that's a good one for you. 
chiffon. It doesn't cover everything because you can see your arms through, you can see your shape through it. I tell you what, I was watching that delicious last night. Uh, um, Amelia Foxy, she's so beautiful, isn't she? Bell Bottom Trousers, I love this book. Can I have it? Can I have this put in the shift report today that I love this book? And you've got, you got all the patterns in the back there as well. There's an I won't open this one, but there's an envelope at the back there with all the patterns in as well for all the projects. Oh, brilliant, 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 brilliant. I love that book. Right, let's go back to Paul now. So what's after the yoke then? So we've done the placket, we've done the yoke. Then what do we yep. do? I'm going to show how to put the collar together. Collar? The collar together and then attach it to the shirt. Oh, OK. Which is the, now, again, in real I think life... people sort of shy away from this bit. Yes, exactly. But in real yeah. life, would you make the collar, make the placket, make everything, and then sew the whole shirt together? Or would you do it the way that we're doing it now? Like, would you have got that far, and then you'll cut the collar out and make the collar? I'd cut everything out first. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't construct... Joe Carter, when right. she makes an animal, yep. she makes the ears, the arms, the legs, the tail, yep. then the body and sews it all together. Right. Whereas you'd cut all of this out, but you wouldn't prep your collar until this stage. I'd cut everything out. I interface all the pieces I need to. Oh, OK. So you do the because interfacing all together. Because I hate doing interfacing. Oh, OK. <laughs> it's it's a, yeah, a thing I really do not like enjoy oh, okay. doing. Yeah. I've tried making some shirts and not put the interfacing in the collar. Yeah. And it does work. It's just, just a slightly yes. softer yes. effect, so um, you know it can work. Uh, so this, so, so you've cut your collar out. I've cut the collar pieces, so you've got a collar, actual collar, yeah. and a collar stand. Yes, this is what confuses. This a lot is of people, what confuses so, yeah. people because often on dresses you don't have the <coughs> collar stand no. unless you're making a shirt dress. Yes, of course, which is a proper collar. So the collar. I've already done. I've interfaced one side. This calls for interfacing both pieces. So I've the, gone, your, yeah, your one that we're one, doing, yeah. So in the book, the, the Frank, Frank one, one. because I would interface both pieces. Uh, you don't. Generally, you don't. Okay. No, generally, you I don't. I think it's because I... Oh, and that's a nice and that, soft one, isn't that's, it? That's had interfacing in it. Yeah, but only um, one layer. I've, I've played about with different things, or either interfaced, iron-on interfacing. Yeah. I've done shirts with just another piece of fabric in between, like a third oh, piece. OK. So it's like interfacing, but it's not but fused. It's, yes. Um, I've left it out. I've done both pieces. Oh, OK. But so your tip is you would only interface one side. Interface the upper collar, which is this, your this outer. One, the one that collar. you're going to see. Yeah, the yeah. outer yeah. side yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You don't need it on the inside. No. So it tends to, it's just I suppose it's because I went through a phase of wearing very formal shirts where the collars are... Yeah. Not just interface, they've got all, all sorts of stuff in them, and they? they make them really, they make really rigid. rigid. Yeah. Yes. So you've interfaced the one side, the outside side. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and there's another one where you could put the third piece on the back, fold over the edges, and put in the collar stays. Yes. Which are those yeah. little bone pieces. But in this kind of shirt, you wouldn't want stays. Not, not in this casual shirt. When so we do that ruffle shirt, we might put stays yeah. in that one. Okay. Um, Saying so the ruffle shirt, it's the same pieces. Oh, it's is exactly it? the same pieces, but it shows you how to add the ruffles on. So you got all and also balls. have a scene there this somewhere, one, won't it? Yeah, exactly. yeah. So if you've got this one sorted, you can do the other one. Exactly. Right. Right. Okay. So, so you've done your collar, and how have you got it to collar this stage? Collar pieces, I've um, right sides together, so along there and across. Yeah. Turned it through. Trimmed the points. Turned it in. Now again, some shirts will call for top stitching this at this point. Right. Which I've done on this one. You've done on that one. Yeah. This I one didn't, on didn't ask no. for it, so okay. I didn't do it. OK, so it's not in the instructions to top stitch. It doesn't say, no, okay. so I've tried to stick as close to this yeah, as no, I no, can. No, no. So. Yeah, no, no, no. A lot of our guests do go off piece an awful lot. I, I so. try not to. Yeah. I try not to. OK, so, so now explain now, this. Now, it's this remembering these pieces. I suppose if you've interfaced both, both of these pieces, you can get away with not working out which is which. Yes. So the way I do it, your interfaced piece of the collar put as if you were be going to wear it, so that would be on the outside. Right. So put that face down. Now you want your, the color that is going to be on the inside, which, well, we get these mixed up. Put your interfaced piece to the back. Right. No, 
No? No, that's wrong. Because that, 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 that will be, that will be your top. Yeah. So you want your interface piece to the non-interface. Right, so that's the way to remember it. So yeah. your interface piece of the stand goes to the non-interface piece of the collar. Yes, because that will be, when your collar turns over like that, yes. that will be on the outer side. Yeah. So you put that on right sides together. Now they look, together. that looks bigger than your collar. And that one goes on. Yes, because so you're making that, a sandwich. Yes, making a sandwich to enclose the the collar where it joins the stand. Yes. The reason it's oh, got yes, the, look, the reason it's, got it's the extra longer bit is to allow for the buttons. Look, see, so the collar actually finishes there, but your collar stand carries on there. You see, so don't be thinking when you come to put them together, don't be thinking that the end of this should go to the end of this. You will have on both sides. Let me move around that way. On both, you see it better on that one. You see. You see there, so your collar goes to there, but your button stand carries on a bit further for your button and buttonhole at the centre of your neck. Uh, Michelle, morning, John and Paul. Great show. Been wanting to make my hubby a shirt for ages. Now oh, I can. Uh, Rega regards, Posh Michelle. That's Posh Michelle oh, posh from Michelle. West Sussex. <laughs> oh, very nice. Good morning. <laughs> Trees in the Isle of Wight wants to know if we're warmer today. Uh, only slightly, but yes. First of all, I've got a lovely warm shirt on. <laughs> the, the man came in to fix it at six o'clock and he, was in a, he wasn't very happy with us because he just said, I don't think anybody switched it on. But we did, obviously. There is a bit of warmth coming out today, isn't there? It's not warm, warm. Are you all right, comfortable? Rose? I'm warm enough, yes. Yeah, but it's not. But then I always am. Yeah. Hot stuff, you see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the burrito te technique. She has wonderful technique. She's never seen it before. Right. So. It's, it's in a lot of the... Are you, taking, are you taking credit for the burrito? Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's in some of the shirt books that I've read and also it's um, the standard pattern which I tend to use. It, it doesn't do the roll up, it just took everything to one side. Yes. So it is still that, bring that bottom it's piece the same, around it's the same and, it, and stitch yes. it. Yeah. Okay, so, so let's just see I've what you've done I've attached that. I've, you've got the overlap. I've probably got a bit more on one side yeah. than the other. But, but that's not, you're not stitching that bit then? You I am. I'm oh, you going are. to stitch from, from here. Yes. And along there. So you stitch from this one open end. Yeah. Go all the way along, sandwiching that collar yeah, in, and figure. then come back out. Oh, that okay, side. perfect. So if I do that, this should match up, but they're not doing. It's inventive cutting. Now you notice on the collar that the collar. The main collar piece curves one way and the collar stand curves the other. Yes. So you've got to do a bit of adjusting as you as you go along. As you're stitching it on. So just <coughs> make sure all of your edges match up. But because they've done the pattern for you, it will it will fit. It's just it's just you've got to manipulate it yes. so that it lies properly with it. And again it tells you about adjusting the collar sizes to fit you. That's all the instructions are within yes, the pattern yeah. itself. Oh, yes, yes, because obviously you're going to need that on mine. Mine will have a 17 and a half inch collar, but if you do the smaller size, it can be a 14 and a half, 15 inch collar, isn't it? Yeah. So that <coughs> gets stitched all the way around. Did you reverse at the end or not? No, I didn't because that will then get, um, it's going to get stitched into the oh, okay. button band as it comes up. So what I'm, you trimming, doing now? I'm trimming this as close as I can to that stitching there. Just tilt it up so we just have a look there. If you cut it really close to the stitches really, there. Really, really close, because yeah. otherwise when you're sewing, it's the bit I hate doing it, is sewing a buttonhole <laughs> yes. onto this bit. So you see, I the, the more seam allowance you can get out of the way, yes. then you can see it there. I'm from the days when machines didn't have super duper buttonhole, like that Elner, you just yeah. press a button now and it does it for you. And I used to hate it, you'd finish a whole garment and then you do a buttonhole and no. one of the buttonholes will go wrong and you're yeah. like, well, what am I supposed to do now? It, and it always does on that next oh, one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Always yeah. one that you see, yes. So right. I found, found another way around that, okay. but I, again, that's So you trimmed show. it, now you're just bagging Trimmed the, it, um, turning it out. Obviously, I've not, I've rushed that a bit. Stand so I'll show through. you the other side. <laughs> so again, you press that into place. When does Aliana come back from her holidays? That's just with knee. Oh, yeah, we're making a good mess for her. We're knee deep we? in um, um, threads and fabric down here. That 
What little Paul has. A little grease I have. Oh. Right. So now attach. So would you show? Would you show that? Just show that. So you've basically got your finished. So that's your collar, and then you've got your collar stand, which is the bit that's going to be attached to the shirt, and has your button and your buttonhole on at the ends there. Right. Okay. So working from the inside of the shirt, I can't remember what in the pattern which one it said to do first, but this is the way I, I would normally yes, do it. Yeah. So working from the inside, you know you want your collar stand with the interfacing on the outside. So you're attaching the piece without the interfacing to the shirt, to the inside of the shirt, because yes, yeah. that's the softer piece. So you, it's the bit that will be against your neck. So you find your centre point, which could have been marked on the pattern with a notch, but it wasn't always. And you find your centre point of your yoke. This is a bit I always hate, because you've got a really a big curve there. here. You've got yes. curving all the way around and a fairly straight piece to fit to it. So the first thing I do is start at one end. So. <coughs> you know that that edge of your collar, collar stand, stand, has got to match up with the edge of your your button band. Yeah. Try on this side. Try on this side. Yeah. So you know that this is your placket here. Yeah. That's the edge that Paul's doing now. So you know that those two edges have got to match up. So I'm going to put a pin in there to line those two up. Then you know that that piece. It's got to match from the centre to that edge. Yes. And look how, how close it is. Yeah. So if you need to do a little bit of stretching, because you've you got... You just ease it in. Ease, ease it in, because you've yeah. got a bit of stretch there, yes. because that's all on the curve. But you need to and ease the shirt into the band, not the band into the shirt. You could go either way. Okay. Because, yeah, the band is more fixed, because yes. that's cut on the yeah. grey line. But um, you've got more of a give in the, the neckline yeah. of the shirt. So again, work your way around there with that one inch seam allowance. So, and that's, I don't think there were notches on the pattern. There were on some pieces, but not on oh, all okay. the pieces. So I just really worked from my memory yes. of, but of also putting if, shirts together. But also, if you together. mark the end, the middle, and the quarter point on yep. both of them, then you've been making your own notches, really. Exactly, yeah. Um, now, we've only got about four and a half minutes left. Okay. So I don't so want to rush you, because it's fast. all this technique is all fascinating, I think. But we need to get to a sleeve at some right. point. Okay, so just, I'll quickly I talk, no, 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 okay. I'll quickly rush, talk through that then, because it's going to just carry on the same yes. way. You would stitch that once you've got, you're happy with it, it's all in yeah. place. Then, once it's stitched, you fold your seam allowance up and into it. But and again... Uh, there you go. So yeah, you, there you fold go. your seam allowance up, up into and into it. the collar stand. Yeah. Then the other half collar stand, you fold over that. Again, not yes. one, one centimetre seam allowance. Fold it back and then top stitch that so into place. So everything's all encased, so all then inside the stand. That, that is your, your collar. There you go. Yeah. And then that bit goes down there. Attached to the Brilliant. shirt. Brilliant. Yeah? Yep. Okay. So I quickly put together a bit of a sleeve because you, you would next put your sleeves in. While it's still flat. While well, oh, it's still open. Yep. So your sleeves would go into, into that piece there. Yep. So your sleeve would get stitched in next. It's not, a very, it's not a very deep armhole curve, is it? Some armhole curves are much deeper than that, aren't they? That's yeah. quite a shallow but, curve, that one. But your sleeve will get stitched in Press back up and then top stitched around. Yeah, now it's important, isn't it? Because the back of a sleeve is mm -hmm. a different shape to the front of a, of yeah. a sleeve head. So you need other notches there on the There was side. a notch on, yeah. on the sleeve. Normally on a pattern, there's one notch at the front and two notches at the back. So you know that that's the back of the sleeve. Because you yeah. can think, oh, well, either sleeve could go in either way. It can't because the back of the sleeve head is a different shape. Isn't and it? with this pattern, there was just one notch at the back and no notches oh, at the okay. front. Oh, okay, fine. Again, old yeah. style. There is also a pleat at the top. Right. So it tells you to pleat that. Just at like the a top. knife pleat. So you just got that little gather at the top there. Oh, isn't that weird? 
game. You could do it without if you wanted to. No, 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 no. I, I give, take give the sleeve to either end. I just, I'd kind of ease it in rather than do a, a knife pleat. But no, it's I didn't a, even notice. That she says yeah. it's a pleat, so the yeah. two little notches there. For okay. The, so the how do you, do, do you stitch there. it in? You'd stitch it in. Um, pin it in that way. Stitch yeah. it in, and then turn it that way. Again, it didn't ask for top stitching. Generally, I will top stitch. Yeah. Yes. Around but on that. a soft, casual one like this, you wouldn't necessarily Maybe not needed, no. And then... So then you sew your side seams and your sleeve seam. Oh, all in one? Yep. So you do it from, from there all the way down. All uh, the way down the like one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So that gives you then your sleeve end, end. end of the sleeve. Yes. Now, they're also on the pattern, it says to cut one little notch. So you cut a... A slit like up this. into it. Mm -hmm. And then? And then you are putting your placket piece on. Now, your placket piece is similar to the placket down the front. Yeah. It's one piece, but it's folded like bias binding. Folded right. to the centre. Yeah. And then folded again in on itself. Right. And then you sandwich that all the way round. Yeah, so, that so it goes side. up and back. So it goes up this side. So it, go, it kind of goes on, on the outside of one and then almost looks like it's on the inside. Oh, no, there it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah, there it, it is, goes there all is. the way across. There, there's oh, one, yeah, there's one I've already pinned. It goes do, all yeah. the way across that. Okay. Okay. And then you turn it to the inside. So that would be your seam. Yeah. So you would turn it to the inside and then you would just stitch a little V. Across oh, there. Oh, that's this. That's this bit here. Yeah. So that is. So you got creating like a chevron yeah. at the at the at the crease there. Okay. So what you get then is naturally one piece goes yes. on the inside and yeah. the other piece lies over the top of okay. it. Okay. And right. then cuff. Attaching the cuff. The cuff comes in one piece, which is unusual. I'm used to two piece cuffs. Oh yes. So again, I've just interfaced one half of it, which will okay. be the outer part of the cuff, yep. that part. Yep. Fold it in half the wrong way, stitch down, turn your sleeve inside out, so you, or you cuff inside yeah, out. Yeah, so you've got to finish. Right. Then you are attaching this all the way around your cuff. Right. So the best way that, that to do that was to stitch it all the way around, or pin, stitch all the way around. Now you will find you've got more sleeve and cuff. I was going to say yes. You always have, because yeah. if you look on that one again, near to where the, the cuff there it opens, is. where the buttonhole is, you put in a pleat. Yeah, but now you see that on, on, most, one, on most shirts you get that, don't you? You'll yes. see it there, yeah. and it's just to create a narrowing yes. there at that cuff edge. But still keep your fullness of the fabric in the sleeve, because yeah. you don't want to dart it. And also allows more, more yes. room, you don't want tight-fitting sleeves. Exactly. So that's sure. Okay, that's shirt a, in a rush. And that, that's horrible, <laughs> isn't it? Because it really need we need to we need to because it's in real life. It's going to take six hours yeah. to do. And we're expecting you to do it in forty-five minutes or fifty minutes. Um, and uh, then the buttonholes and the buttons down yeah, the front. I put there. the pocket the pockets on as a last thing because I don't like pockets on shirts oh, we've myself. Got, we've got but, buttons um, to sell. It came with that. And it came I'll with take buttons. them across with me. Um, just plain shirt buttons here. Uh, thank you. You're back in now to do the organizer. Yep. Uh, I'm just going to come over here and do fabrics now. There was a message was there from Debs. Did you say? Okay, because it didn't come through. Oh, sorry, yeah, never mind. Uh, buttons first. Six mil with white buttons. These are bigger than normal shirt buttons, but ideal for this kind of casual look. 13 millimeter. Oh, Debs. Jelly and, you know Jelly and Ice Cream Vintage Debs that um, made me that lovely scarf? She's watching. She'd really love to see John and Paul and all the tips that Paul's bringing. And she loves this book. She's got this book and she loves it. So it is a brilliant book, isn't it? So thank you, Debs. Right, so that was the buttons. Should we do fabrics? This, the one I'm wearing, is by far the most popular. It's nice, isn't it? It's lovely, really lovely. Navy and red, heavy cotton check. Three ninety nine for half a metre. Lovely, isn't it? Now, I'm going to be wearing this shirt all day, so I hope, I'm all, I hope that fabric um, carries on being available, but it's very, very popular. Uh, then I've got the one that Paul was demonstrating, 
which was the blue and the red gingham. Check. Do you know why? Do you know why? It's because it's a cold, wintry day. The one I've got on is making people go, oh, that's cozy. This looks like a summer picnic day, doesn't it? This looks like our friend Simon, who used to work here. Uh, it's like something he'd wear to go to one of his posh, you know, quite posh. Simon's quite posh. Um, and I think if we did that fabric, if we do that fabric again in spring, it'll fly out quicker than that one. But it's because you're all kind of going, oh, it's a cold, and it's like that. Anyway, and then this is very popular. This is lovely, this one. Beautiful, the blue and the green. Maybe you're thinking, maybe you're buying for your hubby or your partner or whatever, thinking, oh, we won't wear the red and the, the blue, but he would wear the green. Who knows? Let me know. Green and blue, gingham check, 3.99. And very quickly, the book. 40 seconds left for this. I love this book. Love, love, love this book. Lots of people have got that in their basket. You do need to check out 24 pounds and 99 pence. Birder style sewing, vintage modern. Sewing vintage modern doesn't even make any sense the same. Uh, don't go anywhere. I'm coming back in three minutes, just me on my own, doing all things quilting. So I've got Quilt Should Go, I've got um, pre-cuts, I've got some books about quilting. Or oh, in fact, if Davinia's watching, there might be a couple of books that Davinia likes as well. Don't go anywhere, watch the adverts. I will see you in three minutes from now. Follow us on Pinterest, search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. This New Year's Eve, we're rounding the year up in style. 2017 has been a so very special year for us at Sewing Quarter and we're bringing you two hours dedicated to the creme de la creme, the best of all the exciting projects and kits that 2017 has seen. Take a trip down memory lane with John Scott as he indulges us in our favourite quilt sets, including Alison Glass with its beautiful dancing circles of deep sea blues and Cave's rolling stone quilt, giving you your very own colourful masterpiece at home. We like to celebrate in style, so we're bringing you an exciting Trip Around the World 2018 quilt set, filled with vibrant spring colours and jewelled purple tones for a truly incredible price. The perfect project to kickstart your new year. We'll also be joined by some of our favourite cuddly friends with Joe Carter's best-selling kits, The Bear in a Bag, and a charmingly cute elephant set. We can't wait to round up the year with you, so make sure you watch at 9am and 11am on Sunday the 31st of December and join in with the New Year's Eve fun. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. As 2017 draws to a close, we want to say thanks for joining us this year. We've enjoyed so many good times and great laughs with our amazing presenters and guest designers. They've filled our mornings with inspiration, fabulous products and lots of laughs. From Anna Maria Horner to Kay Fassett, we've had unmissable guests sharing their expert tips and demonstrating new products, encouraging us all to be more creative. We've loved the amazing toy creations from cuddly elephants to adorable mice, plus accessories for your home, bags and gorgeous garments. And our designers quilts and patchwork on our shows this year have blown us away. We're sure you've snapped up some bargains too with Liberty Prints in new quilting weight fabrics and an irresistible selection of design rolls and charm packs. We love seeing what you've made from our products. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news and share your own creations with us. Now, Nora's watching, that's Paul's mum. She said, the shirt really suits me. And she said, Paul, you have to give that shirt to John. So, thank you, Nora. That's what she actually said. I'm keeping, I've tucked it in now, look. I know, I know. Anyway, now, this hour, it, I know it's called Quilt As You Go on the, there, right? But uh, it's Quilt As You Go and it's all, all things quilting. So I'm starting off with four Quilt As You Go 
um, packages. Now, uh, if you don't know what quilt to go is, it's not the same as quilting, but you do quilt as you go along, as it were. Um, I'll just show you this, basically. What you get in each pass package, oh, I picked the wrong one up, is you, you get, uh, let me open one of these. Can I, which one should I open? I'll open one of these two here. Right, I'll open this one here. What you get inside the bag... <laughs> Do you know what? They used to have um, a peel-back tear thing, didn't they? But they're now... Um... No, I'm, I'm going to open the rug one, because that's got a thingy. There we go. What, they, what you do with the quilt as you go... Now, this is the rug version, um, but these are the quilt versions. So what you do... It's the same principle, the same principle, right? The instructions come within the packet, and it tells you exactly what you have to do within the packet. Now, the camera won't like this because it's an awful lot of white being reflected up by the lights. But you'll see each square has a number. Now, these lines are placement lines. What's the matter? Right, so each of the, the straight lines are placement lines, apart from the dotted lines, which I'll explain to you later. So this, you see this one? So number one in the middle here, number one is that's the first piece, and you just place your fabric. I am going to have to put it down to show how it works, right? So what you do is you place number one, and then you get piece number two, which is here. I don't know if you can get that on the upside. And now let's pretend this is piece number two. And you sew it... You sew it along here, uh, no, no, that, that way, and you fold it back. So basically, you're quilting as you're going along. What the dotted lines mean is you have to make up that whole section first, and then you stitch it onto the quilt as you go. So, um, there are great, fantastic... Well, I've got the rug one out, so I might as well show you two that we've already made. Now, this doesn't have any wadding in it. This has a special, like, kind of non-slippy background on it. So it's not like a quilt, but it's still the same quilt as you go. Uh, it's called the lat. Look, there you go. So that, if you can see, from this, you place those, and then you sew these, and you, and you fold them upwards, sort of thing. And then you create a, you cut them down. You put a binding on like you would do with a normal quilt. There's the binding. Uh, 15 99 Now, for the 15 99 you just get this. I'll show you the Tim Holtz one here. I'm showing you the Tim Holtz one because I've got some Tim Holtz fabric later on. You see what I mean? It's the same quilt, but just a diff done a different way. Nice, isn't it? You suggested these. So she, what she did was she did the clock in the squares there and then just alternated all the fabric. So, um, for your 15 99 you get this. You get the instructions, which are here, which are fabulous. And uh, that's it, that's it. But then you create, you get your own fabric to make it with. So you can choose what colour way you want to do it in, that thing. So that's the rug one. Now, the rug one is slightly different to the others, because that's like a... Well, it feels a bit like... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know a mattress? You know the mattress protectors in the old days? Not the lovely soft cotton ones now. But you remember when you used to... When, uh, you used to have kiddies, when kiddies were little, and you used to put a, like, a plasticky... Yeah. That's what that feels like. You don't put the baby down, it's where the baby sleeps. Right, but then, now these are on wadding. These are on wadding. This one, this is brilliant if you're just starting. Because this one literally is just stripes of fabric. It's called the Savvy Stripes. Now you can see there, you can see there, that would be the finished thing. Uh, now this, now this is again very different because normally you get lots of squares on a quilt. You go, this is all in one, like the rug. It's all in one. You don't have to cut any of the batting or anything. You just stitch the um, the fabric to the batting. You start at the bottom and you just work your way up. It's as simple as that. Uh, it's eighty percent cotton, twenty percent polyester batting. 40 inches by fifty inches. That is finished. That's a nice size quilt, that one. So literally, you just get your, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about 10 stripes. And you just, you just pick your 10 favorite fabrics, your stripe of each of them. And you can make, it comes together so quickly, I can't tell you. It's fantastic, right? Now the other ones, these two, what, I'm gonna open one of these. Let me open one of this one aside. Only because you need to see, because what you do is this one, you actually get the squares, you actually get the blocks. This one's called London Labyrinth, this one, I think, isn't it? Is it? 
right? I'm sure I found the London Labyrinth on the floor, didn't I, earlier? Anyway, so you see, now what this one is, is this one is six blocks. This one is six blocks that you get in here. And what you do is you cut each block out, so you're only ever working with like a 12-inch square. And again, you put number one in the middle, because they're your placement lines. Then you place two there and stitch it and fold it up. Three there, stitch it and fold it up. Four there, stitch it and fold it up. And follow it round like that. So I've got, it's not a London Labyrinth, but I've got a couple here. So this is two stitched together. So you never ever, you're never ever going to, oh look, these are all the fabrics I had yesterday. Um, you're never going to be working to start with on a square bigger than that. And what it is, is you put your backing fabric on. This is why it's called quilt as you go. So you've got your backing fabric, you've got your batting, and then you've got your layers that you're putting on. And you can see you're, you're quilting as you're going along with this. And then what you do is you can then add sashing to make this into, a, you can make it into a table runner. So you put that six in a row. You could put it back together like this and have a little lap quilt. You could make uh, six coasters. You can do whatever you want with it, really, not coasters, placemats. So it is fantastic. I'll try and find a L London Labyrinth in a minute. Do you know what some people have done? Is they've just made up two and made a really lovely bag out of the two, you know, like a little tote bag and lined it and everything. It's really, really lovely. So that one there is a London Labyrinth. Um, it doesn't say London Labyrinth anywhere on my packet, though. I'm going to a little bit... Um, have a look at it in the packet there, then. Yeah, six 12-inch finished size blocks, 24 by, uh, so it's 24 by 36 inch finished. That's not the packet I've got. But it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing, it's the same thing, look. They changed the packaging, that's what it is. That's co what confused me. It is the same thing, it is the same thing. So that's London Labyrinth. Then I've got this one, which is called Square in a Square. I'll fold this one up first of all. This is the last one of the quilt as you go that we've got. So that this one again is, a, oh, it's the large sheet one, this one. I thought that one was the blocks, but this is a larger sheet one again. I've never seen this one before. So it's just one block. It's a square in a square, just one block. Not six or eight little blocks. It's just one big block, that one. Oh, I like that one. That's a, that, that fabric there looks a bit like that Desiguali fabric. I've got. Anyway, you know the Spanish shirt I made when I made my, um, my quilt? Anyway, it's fine. 17 pounds and 99 pence. Quilt as you go. Now, what they do say about when you're doing quilt as you go, because you can't really iron it once you start sewing it to the batting, because you can create... <coughs> they say, they do say, best press it or starch it. So I've got this here with me at the moment. Uh, this one first, the no scent one first. I'll move that one out of the way. Best press, scent free, 4.99. 177 millilitres, six ounces. Uh, it's as it says, there's no scent in it at all. But what it is, it's like a starch. So if you start, when you've cut all your pieces out, give them a, get a bit of a spray with this and press them. And then what happens is as you're making the quilt, they won't crease as much. I mean, you can put a, a gentle iron on, onto the quilt, obviously, but you don't want to be pressing it after every seam uh, because you're going you're gonna to compress the uh, wadding and the batting inside, aren't you? So that's four nights I've also got it in lavender. Lavender. Do you remember when we first did lavender? Oh, it don't work there anymore. When we first did lavender quartz. Oh, actually, do you know what? Where I used to work, it was my last day. Yes, last year, tomorrow is my last shift. New Year's Eve, I did New Year's Eve was my last shift. Four ninety nine. That's flown by, but I've had such a lovely time, that's fine. Four ninety nine. Six ounces, that's lavender or lavender to you and me. Yeah. Our friend Cherry got engaged. My uh, nephew Mikey got engaged to Anna. Uh, someone else? Someone else got to what what? Uh, should we move, um, Jay's got engaged. That was before Christmas. He jumped the gun, didn't he? Some, no, someone else I know got engaged. Not, no one here. No one here. Right, okay, I've done this. Done this. Right. Now, what you need to make a nice quilt are gorgeous fabrics and maybe a couple of books. 
Right, well, I'm going to start, because this is confusing me, right? This is called a quilt. They call this a quilt as you go. It doesn't say it anywhere on the label, but it says it on my piece of paper. You know Alice Caroline, who works with Liberty, right? She did this lap quilt. Now, all you get in here is the fabric to make the top of the quilt and the binding. But look at the finished quilt. It's beautiful. What Alice Caroline does is she works in conjunction with Liberty, uses Liberty prints, but they will print them up in colours that she chooses. That we, we had this in the studio when we did it. It's beautiful. Finish size 36 by 45 inches. Again, it's stripes, but then look, you've got little squares at the end there. And the binding round the outside is like a scrappy binding. So it's using all the different fabrics to create the binding around the edge. Here's the real one. Here's the real one. They've cut the top and the bottom off, look. Anyway. It's gorgeous, it's made of Liberty fabrics, and you've got all the fabrics. You don't get any wadding or any batting or anything in, in this, you just get the beautiful, beautiful fabrics. And they are exquisite. They're Tarna lawns, they're Liberty Tarna lawns, and they are just beautiful. And when we had the finished thing, I couldn't stop looking at it, because the colours were just divine. So that's £34.99. So you get all the fabrics to make the top, and the binding, you don't get a backing fabric and you don't get the wadding in there, but you are getting all a choice of the most beautiful Liberty fabrics in there. Love that, love that, love that. Right, let's do books, shall we, to start with. And then I'll do um, pre-cuts. I've got lots and lots of pre-cuts to take you through. Oh, and I've also got some of that, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, oh, do you know what I could have done with this hour? It's a bit late to say it now, it might not be available. We have this brilliant um, tool when you're sandwiching, but don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, no, 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 it's just better. Right, how to quilt. Techniques and projects for the complete beginner. So, Davinia, this is the one I thought you might like, my love. She hasn't done any quilting yet. So, it's only $7.99. $7.99, this one is. Now, we'll go through it, have a look at what we've got in here. How to quilt. So, we start off. Yeah, New Year's resolution, make a quilt, start quilting. You might be a dressmaker who's thinking, um, oh, I might, before I start, I might read this book. All the tools you might need. Basic rules for patchwork, different materials to use, threads, all. This is all. Now, maybe you think you know all that. Maybe you think you know sewing basics, but it's always good to refer to it because you can do hand, sti hand stitching, you see, on your quilting and everything, machine stitching. So before we start anything, quilting basics, with tips, look, on each page there's a tip as well, look. Um, then, yeah, techniques and projects is fantastic. So if you have started, you think, oh, what was that again? English paper piecing. English paper piecing. Then we've got how to do it, how you cut your hexes out, hand stitching. Lavender keepsakes, that's a little tool, uh, not a little tool, a little project, a little project, because of, they've just shown you how to do the English paper piecing in hexes, then there's a project on how to actually use that technique that you've just learned. I think that's brilliant there. Then you can move on to rag quilting, which is the stage Hannah's at at the moment, I think. And dyeing, obviously, using curry. Uh, then you can make a lovely... Make a lovely throw. Oh, I like that. Do you know what that fabric... Oh, this fabric that I'm wearing would look nice in there, wouldn't it? Um, you see, it's got simple, lovely, simple techniques. Now, that's a tea cosy. Now, where's the quilting in there, then? Oh, tie quilting. Look, in the middle there. And it's not tie the country, it's tying a knot. Uh, it's a... Is it a reef knot? Reef knot, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, then strip patchworking. Now, that's a bit like um, the strip one with the quilt as you go. We just showed you, wasn't it? Then a duffel bag with very simple quilting there. That's echo quilting, that one. Using all the words today, aren't I? Simple quilt block. So we're moving on to blocks now. That's a nine patch. Uh, and then from that, you can make a table mat. You see, I think it's lovely. I used to have one of these. I don't think I could have coffee out of one of those now. It'd send me into a complete dither. Um, 
when we were on a Bond film, when I was on the Bond film at Leeds and Studios, um, I had one of these and Lindy, the designer, had one of these. And we'd get the security guard, we'd ring from the gate, because the gate to the wardrobe top was so long. We'd ring when we were at the gate and he'd have to fill it. The security guard would have to go into our kitchen and put both of our coffee pots on. So as we walked in, our coffee was just per percolating. Nice, oh, lovely. Spe uh, 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 speed piecing with a pin board. And then what else have we got here? There's loads in here. London Stairs. Don't know that one. It's a new one on me. Oh, play map for you to put the baby down on. Oh, look. Oh, there are the London Stairs. There are the London Stairs, look. Oh, what's that? What's that? I've missed something out there. There's a leaf one there. If little Paul's going to be going, that's something. Oh, whole qu cloth quilting. We like that. Uh, cushion, and then a cushion of how you can do that technique. Um, machine quilting using a plique. It's fantastic. Table runner. There's so much. All the things we talk about, they're all in there. Mitered corners, bed covers. And then you've got your templates in the back. So you might, we might have gone on about, oh, it's a nine patch, darling, it's a nine patch. Blah, blah, blah. And you think, oh, what's he on about now? It's all in there. All in there. Well done, Rachel Claire Reynolds. We love your How to Quilt book. And it's only $7.99. Like it, like it. Then also, I've got a beginner's guide to quilting. 16 projects to learn to quilt. Now, this one is limited. This is Elizabeth Betts, this one. It is limited, this one. Um, this one's more colourful, this book, this one. But again, you've got all the techniques and everything at the beginning. Piecing. This one's more, I think this one might be the next stage on from that first book. Let's have a look. So you've got all the techniques in there. Binding. Right, here are the projects in this one. Needle books. Dolly's quilt. Fabulous bag. Oh, I do, I like, they say I like both these books. Simple seat head table mat. Oh, that's hand quilting, look, that one. Long stitch quilting. Checkerboard charms car quilt. Doesn't have to be in your car if you don't want it. Or if you like Hannah, you haven't got a car. Spinning around cushion. Is that reverse applique, that one? No, it's just applique, look, applique. Then we move on to um, twirling windmills. See, this one's, I think this one's slightly more advanced than that. So I'd get that one first and then this one. I'll get them both now, but you know. Oh! What does that say? Crab and sew. Ooh. Oh, Dresden. There's loads of projects in there, isn't it? Lovely, lovely book. Oh, I like that one. Blooming Marvellous. You need to use all your floral fabrics, that, if you've got your case and things, which I've got coming up now. Uh, that's a beautiful book, isn't it? £14.99. Do you know what? I'd get both of them. You can only pay one P&P. &P, and then you give them this. Is a, if you're buying it as a gift for somebody, give them that one first. And then, like, so buy that for their birthday. And then maybe that for Easter or Christmas or something like that. And if we talk about next Christmas already, that's a bit frightening, isn't it? Now, remember, if you are a new buyer, you've not bought from us before, if you spend over £10 on your first purchase, not including post patching, we send you a free pair of scissors as a gift to say thank you. I know. Oh. Get those for free if you spend ten pounds or ever. Right, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. So they're the books. Oh, they've gone. They're the books. Now, before I go on to fabric, I'll just go on to this. No, it's not um, like bandage. It's heat press batting together. It's quilters fuse batting. Uh, you, well, basically, you can iron. Oh, I can't find the opening now. No, they're here, they're here. I moved them out of the way so Paul could concentrate earlier. Um, basically, you iron. It's, it's got a, a, a cover on it, so I can't open it. You iron it on, use it like bondweb, but it's like um, just fuses fabric together. 
It's polyester batting, synthetic position. You must test it on your fabric first, though. It's, it's basically like a bond web, you know, you turn your trousers up with it, but it's for, for, for quilters, fuse batting pieces together. You've got leftover pieces of batting, and it's not big. So imagine you're making this, right? And you've only got this much, and you can just put another piece of batting there, fuse it together to create the whole piece of batting. Then when you quilt it, it's fine. You can stitch through it and everything. It's fine. Handy. How much? Oh, it's 5 99 Add it to your order. Right, let's get on with fabrics now. Um, these fabrics, I'm going to do anthology first. I love them. These only arrived a couple of weeks ago, didn't they? And uh, there were more. There were more to choose from. I've only been given three today. I've been given the yellow, the purple. No, not the purple. Um, blue. Um, I said purple because in my brain, Lorraine is not very well at the moment. She bought the purple because she's making a purple quilt in the bedroom. And she's using it, mixing it with Kate. Okay, so I've got orange, yellow, and blue today. So I'm going to start with the blue. Right, I love it. Right, so this is how it arrives at your house. <clears throat> now, it's a 12-piece fat quarter for £44.99. Wait till you see the prints on the fabric. They're beautiful. So you get 12 fat quarters in a pack. I just love them because let me let me get one out for you let me get one out and show you the patterning it's like it's not fatigue it's not tie-dye but look imagine that pieced in a quilt oh it's so rich that one as well isn't it so you get 12 fat quarters you get 12 fat quarters and then you what i love is that they've themed them in the colors because sometimes if you want to make a quilt for your bedroom and you're thinking, well, that's lovely, but I don't need green and I don't need brown and I don't need... This way, oh, I've taken it out of order, hang on. This way, you could... Because you imagine doing one of Jane Alcock's um, rainbow quilts, but doing it, grading it in the different colours of the same... You know, in the different shades of the same colour. Oh, this is in a different... Somebody's messed this in order. Oh, there you go. That one goes... That one goes in there. Oh... Look at those gorgeous colours. So that's the blue one. 12 pieces, all different. Don't they look lovely? So, and look at the price, right? So normally you'd expect to pay, what, about four pounds, four pounds something for a fat quarter? That's not four pounds a fat quarter. 12 fours are 48. So it's less than four pounds a fat quarter. They're lovely, aren't they? Really, really, a good quality cotton as well. We love those. We love those. So that's the blue one. What colour would you like to see now? Yellow. Yellow next. Oops. So this is how it'll arrive. This is how it looks when it arrives. Now, some of these on your, on your telly, when I spread these out, some of these on your telly might look quite similar. But watch. So obviously it looked nice. So these paler ones here. Now, you might not have seen this on the telly, but these still have that kind of uh, wash in them but they're just very, very, very delicate, the first few. Look at this, look at this one. This is why I love them, because every one is different, look. Come on, John, one job. There we go. Isn't that lovely? Summertime and the living is easy. Something that's swimming and the something is high. Anyway, yellow, yellow, oh, bright yellow, sunflower yellow, corn yellow, orange yellow, yellow yellow, limey yellow. Oh, they're lovely. They're a lovely, lovely, lovely blend, don't they? Daffodil, oh, my favourite. Do you know what? I was really upset because I saw daffodils in the, in the supermarkets before Christmas. You can't have daffodils and tulips before Christmas. No. But well, now, I love daffodils. Well, now the spring, when the spring's here, I just fill my house with daffodils all the time. Love those. Love those. Love those. So we could move from daffodils. Oh, hang on. Marigolds or fire. Oh, 
Well, no, no, it's not, it doesn't have to be a plant, does it? Look. I love that one. Right, I've spread these out for you. Peachy. Peachy. I don't think, I wonder if peach is in my dream last night. For some reason, peach. Anyway, look. Oh, look. Oh, oh. No, can you imagine that? I mean, you can, like Lorraine, she teamed hers with CAFE. You could team it with um, Spectrum Solids. You could team it with Planes. I just think it's lovely. To fold it nice, otherwise Jay gets angry. No, not stressed. No, he never gets stressed. I've got to open that one as well. Yeah, I'll have a row with him later. Oh, no, we never have, we never have a row, me and Jay, just words. <gasps> oh, 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 favourite. You're seeing what? Oh, I thought you said animals. I still can't see any animals. Uh, <clears throat> right, there's the orange one. Obviously, you only get one of those. That's, the, that, that's that one opened. 44, pa 44 pounds and 99 pence. Yeah, it's suddenly gone cold, hasn't it? Muff. Really cold again. But anyway, I'm not going to moan. I'm not going to moan. moan. Me and Lucy moaned enough for a lifetime yesterday. Right, so that's anthology. Now you can... Oh, and the, oh, are there the colours on the website? So if you want purple, brown, green... What were the other colours? Purple, brown, green... Oh, no, maybe there are only six. Were there only six? You have to search anthology. Brown, green, purple, blue, yellow, and orange. That was the set. That was the set. So the purple, the green, and the brown are on the website. I've got the orange, the yellow, and the blue. Search anthology on the website, and you'll go straight to those, straight to those. Right, shall we do some cave? Because um, Lorraine, crazy Lorraine, uh, oh, she's messaging, is she? The fat quarter bundle colours are wonderful, aren't they? She's got them. She's got the purple one. She's got the purple one. Are you feeling better, Lorraine? Yep. We'll wait for the answer. I'm not waiting for the answer. I'm just waiting to, I'm just warming my hands. <laughs> How weird. It was going lovely and warm. It was going all right earlier, wasn't it, Tom? And now it's something gone freezing again. Anyway, let's not moan. Let's do this one, right? Let's do this one. This is the one with lots in, Hannah. Ten pieces. Lipstick one, this is called. I'm oh, sorry. Lipstick one. You get ten for 42 pounds and 99 pence. Now, orangey, blues, you could go, well, you can mix and match as you want, can't you, really? It's my favorite one with the Chinese chrysanthemums in it. Oh, it asked, did stop a minute ago and then came back on again. Right. Here we got the disco pebbles without the disco. In Timothy's head, he's got a disco still. Oh, do you know what this would look nice in? If you did stripes on a quilt like this, like you're, like you're... And then you got the pink ovoids. Oh, so this one's called lipstick. Lipstick one, sorry, lipstick one. <clears throat> you get the fat quarter, 10 fat quarters in that bundle for 42 pounds and 99 pence. <clears throat> Excuse me. Loving the colours. <coughs> oh, come on, I don't want my throat to go funny again. <coughs> so that's Cave Lipstick 1. Oh. Right, Blue Anthology is flying out, just so you know. If you've got Blue Anthology in your basket, <coughs> please check out. <coughs> I do apologise, I'll take a slurp of my water. Oh, do you know what I did yesterday? I had a pink shirt on yesterday. Took a slurp of my water and the... Went all down my shirt. 
Oh, yeah, I'll just fold this one up and then I'll get the blue one out. Oh, yeah, show the blue one. Show the blue one. There it is. Oh, yeah, have, have a look at that while I'm um, slurping the water. Very popular, the blue. Which is the second most popular? <coughs> yellow is in second place. That's handy because yellow's in the picture, isn't it? <coughs> yellow one going across the bottom there. I'll, I will have fold, folded these up by the time you come back to me, I promise. Right. There we go. There we go. There we go. So that was cave lipstick one. Couple more caves to show you. Oh, that go nice with the yellows, wouldn't it? That one. Is this one called citrus? I'll just check before I start talking. I'll start there. Oh, the rain feels much better. Now it's checking out boiling hot air, isn't it? Like tropical hair. hair. This is citrus number two, this one. Oh, how weird. We need to get those serviced, don't we? It was flashing yesterday, clean the filter. Oh, apparently it's been doing that for six months now. Can you believe we've been open a year nearly? End of January. January 31st we opened, didn't we? Oh, we've on. I'd love to see a show about whole cloth quilting. There's lots of beautiful Welsh designs. There are, Yvonne, and um, where does Dul my friend Dulcie come from? Uh, concert, up in the northeast, right? She says there's lots up there as well. Oh, that's a good idea. Write that down. Whole cloth quilting, please. We'd have to get a whole cloth quilting um, expert in, wouldn't we? Oh, I, could you do a whole cloth quilting with Westerly? Could they be together? Because you'd have to get somebody who could do, or um, what's it called, free motion arm thingy. Have to, yeah. That's the technical term. So this one is uh, Citrus number two. Wasn't there a song called that? Oh, no, it was Mambo number five. Uh, 42 99 you get 10 pieces in there. No, Citrus number two wasn't as popular, the song. Nice, 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 nice. nice. I've got one more cave to show you. Oh, yeah, have a look at it. Oh, Tina. Oh, Tina, they're nice. No, she's new to sewing, and this is her first project. Hand-sewn hexi forms. Now, I discovered... No, I didn't discover. I was at one of the trade shows, and I met that man at the trade show. Oh, so oh, you must come on our show. And he's been on twice or three times now. His wife comes on, but he comes with her, doesn't he, right? And um, not with me, though. That's lovely. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? What's that bird? What's that bird? The little red bird. Just a red bird. I've never seen a completely red bird like that. Oh, what was on the table? Hang on, what's that? Oh, that's nice. That table, Tina. Nice. Anyway, and then this. Now, you've seen this fabric before because it was in that one. This is red. Three, and you get five in here. You get five uh, fat quarters in here. <laughs> yeah, I might have to take my clothes off now. It's so hot. <laughs> oh, they're moving as well. Look, because they were both facing in the same direction a minute ago. Now that one's facing down. Uh, air con. I'm talking about the air con now. There's not someone in here with me. Oh, look, look, it's moving now. <laughs> They've got a mind of their own. I think, you know, when you go to the gym and you can go on a cycling machine, uh, you go on a cycling machine and you can set it so you're on a mountain range that goes fast and slow and up and down. That's what these things are like. Jill says, good morning, John. What is whole cloth quilting? Whole cloth quilting. Oh, is it was in here, wasn't it? The first one, was it? It's basically where you have no patchwork and you just quilt, Jill, a one piece of fabric. It's what it says on the tin, really. But here, 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 here. Look, so this would be whole cloth quilting, where your whole quilt is made of one layer of fabric. A lot of the ones in Durham, uh, or concert, where Dulce's from, are just white, just white. And then you just quilt all over. You do, you do the same. You have two layers with batting in the middle. I think, and, and literally, you do the whole quilt in different patterns like that. 
but there's no patchwork. It's just a whole cloth quilt, and you just literally quilt the whole of the piece of cloth. Whole cloth quilted. Quilt the whole cloth. But thank you, Jill, for asking, because we just presume, we go, oh, yeah, like we were saying earlier, we say nine patch. Not everyone knows what a nine patch is. Oh, well, I didn't this time a year ago. I didn't know what tie quilting was. I always thought um, quilting was just a patch, because you go patchwork quilt. So I thought it was, you know, it's funny, isn't it? Anyway, now I'm hooked. Right, so that's all the cave I've got to show you. What would you like to see now, Tim Holt? Uh, have I got, have I, oh, okay. We do. Anyway, I'm gonna open this one. This is lovely. This is really lovely. These are eclectic elements from Tim Holtz. Only because you, you can't be expected to pay 99 pounds and 99 pence without seeing what you're getting for your money. I won't open them all out. I'll just take the ribbon off like, gently like that. There we go. Now, love these. This is the one. It works out at less than four pounds a fat quarter. This is the one, uh, this is the original Tim Holtz that we had, wasn't it? The um, e eclectic elements, because I love it because it's all very kind of, I don't want to say manly, I don't want to say manly because that's not quite the right word I'm looking for, is it? But uh, it's got a masculine, I, I can smell leather armchairs and things like that, do you know what I mean? Very, very different. He's very well known for his... And you see now, there's the clocks, right? Hang on, wait there. I think we've got that. Because this is that range, isn't it? Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. I'll just keep witching away. Right, this is the same range. That rug that we that Jess did for um, Quilt As You Go. That's the rug. That's the Quilt As You Go rug. Now, obviously, in, in the rug, you only get the Quilt As You Go. You don't get the Tim Holtz fabric. Um, now, all of these are lovely, aren't they? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, they're going to look fantastic together. Tape measures, clocks, music, manuscript, butterflies, and then stripes. Uh, I love this one. That's the um, newspaper print in red. Then you've got the butterflies that we've got there in the red. You've got them in the grey. Then you've got the... Now, these clocks... That's how I, we learned to tell the time at school. You have to have a stamp. And they would stamp your page, and then the teacher would say, right, write down 17 minutes to 4, or write down 3.30, and things like that. And you had to then draw in where the arms would be. Right, and then look at this, right? So you've got all of those lovely. And then look at this, then. There's one floral one that then fits in. It's like a Paul Smith, that one, isn't it? Isn't that gorgeous? So you're getting 25 fat quarters for 99 pounds and 99 pence. They're lovely. Oh, it's limited now. Limited now. Tim Holtz, uh, foundations. This is the Eclectic Elements Foundations. 25 piece fat quarter pack for 99 pounds and 99 pence. Beautiful. Oh, 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 I need to warn you. This one here, this book here, is down to single figures now. 16 projects to learn and quilt. 14 pounds and 99 pence. Elizabeth Betts, single figures, down to single figures on that one. Okay, need to get on. So that's Tim Holtz, that was um, Kate over there. If you want to see any of these again, just, just let me know. Oh. Left one behind. <laughs> Tilda. Now, these aren't fat quarters. The Tildas are fat eights. Just so you know. Now, oh. Right, so that's how it'll arrive at your house. And I'll show A fat quarter is when you take a metre or a yard of fabric, depending on the... So here, it would be a metre of fabric. In America, it would be a yard. You cut it in the middle that way, middle that way, and they're fat quarters. Fat eight, so you take a fat quarter and you cut them both in half. So this is the size of a fat eighth. But if you just want a taster of each fabric, then that's perfect, isn't it? Because how many do you get in here? It doesn't say how many you get. I can count them, 49.99. 49 pounds and 99 pence 
20. You get 20 fat eights in there. So that, I'll, I'll put that one to one side and I'll just show you all the, all the fabrics that you get now. So this is uh, from the Tilda a Cottage range. Is that right? Cottage, yeah. Cottage collection, not range. They're beautiful, aren't they? They're lovely. Oh, now this is the one. This is the one. Isn't this her latest range? Cottage is her latest range, isn't it? Yes, it is. Because Harvest was before this, and then this is Cottage. Um, because that's, uh, I remember all the names now. This is Seagreed. So those four are the same. Believe it or not, those four are identical. But you've got four different colorways. Hang on, let me put that one over there. So same pattern, four different colorways, right? And then so you get all the different colors. This one's called Firework, this green one here. Let me find the other fireworks. Ooh, here we go, there's Firework in red. That's the only two fireworks you get. Then, um, God, this, one's leaf, uh, this one's leaf berry, that one. Leaf berry in the two different colorways, the three different colorways. You've got red, blue, and uh, pink. Hang on. Right, hang on. That one's the same as that one there. I love this one. I don't know, that you, you can't really um, quantify why you love something, can you? Really. Oh, there's another leaf berry in green there. Then that's the Chinese. Oh, I've got four of that one. Yeah, there we go. So you get 20 of these in total. Love them. Love them. They're all fat eighths, remember these. Fat eighths. Well, Jane's going to have a lot of tidying up to do when I put all... What time? Oh, I'm all right, I'm all right. You can do what? I've done this now. You have to show this one. Well, I've done what? Well, I was hurrying up because you said he was going to show the still of somebody else's still. Yeah, but you can't see as many that way around. Show Tim's still then. Yeah, lovely. Get back to mine. There we go. Oh no, the Tim Holtz one here. Not oh no, it's brilliant. But if you... Okay, Tim Holtz. Now there are only five of these left now. The fat quarters. This one here. 99.99, wasn't it, this one? Yeah, 99 pounds and 99 pence for 25 fat quarters. There's only five of those left. Or less than five, do you say? Less than five of those now. Less than five of those now. They are beautiful, though, aren't they? Right. Oh, Heather. I'm going to do a, what was it? Panca burrito. It doesn't look like a ravioli. I don't think I've ever had a burrito. Is it like, is it one of those things you wrap, like you put um, fajita? But in San Diego, there's lots of uh, food like that. Right. Have I not got this one open either? This is gorgeous. This one's gorgeous. This is True Colours. Free Spirit, Heather Bailey. You're going to... I knew she was going to sing that. It was like Lucy, yes, Lucy was singing yesterday. We thought somebody, well, I can't tell you what we thought. Anyway, look. We love this. We love these prints. We don't have enough Heather Bailey, I don't think. We love Heather Bailey. We don't know her. We don't know her. But I think we should. Yeah, I wonder if they can invite her in. I love her colours. Who would be in charge of getting Heather in, do you think? Would that be Ian? All right, we'll have a word with Ian when he's back from his... I'm presuming he's taken holiday because he's not been in. 
Right, there we go. Heather Bailey, we love you. It's not, that's not the aim of the range. That's me just saying. I've just put it into shot. There you go. I just think that even if you don't use them together, they're just gorgeous. They're pure. The colours are very pure. The patterns are lovely. Which is your fave, Pen? This one. In what colour? In the black and cream. So that one's Hannah's favourite. No, I wouldn't put you in that normally either, but that's nice. So that's Hannah's favourite. Have you got a favourite at home? Let me know. Uh, Timothy, what's your favourite? You can't decide. I'm not giving them a choice. They take too long, the directors, don't they? Blue coffee bean. No. Uh, Jill, you're welcome, my lovely. Wendy, I love Tim Holtz. Do you indeed? Is this a bit of gossip we've got? He is top of my wish list, and I will one day do a quilt with his amazing fabrics. <coughs> Thank you, John. Wendy, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Really lovely. No, that's very, this one's very nice. This, I just don't think they look like coffee beans. I like that one. Or I, like, I like two. I like this one. I like the herringbone one. And I like this one. Palm trees. Are they big palm trees? Look. Oh, no, it's a wiggly line. Well, cactuses that grow up and down. So you get 20 uh, fat quarters. Oh, look at the price. 74, 74.99. That's good, isn't it? Remember as well, if you bought something on um, Black Friday, your 30% credit in your account is there. Now, if you haven't already spent it, you could maybe have go and have a look and see if you want to um, buy one of these. Uh, Lorraine says, I've had Heather Bailey prints. So she would have the red and blue herringbone. But the red one and the blue one, you can't have two favourites, Lorraine. Prince. Oh, do you, uh, which one? That one. This is Tom's favourite. I like this one, actually. This one, though, I'd want to buy that by the half metre and make a dress for somebody out of that one. Oh, now, from a distance, it's just a very, very rich blue, isn't it? But coming close, look. Tom likes that because I think that's what his brain's like inside. Yes. And movement. Your, we haven't got a fabric like with your brain inside, I'm afraid, Hannah. Yeah, there's not, there's not enough colours for that. That's lovely, isn't it? That's gorgeous. £74. I better get a move on. Look at the time already. Being a bit self-indulgent. Yeah, but I've still got all these that I haven't shown you yet. Haven't done a recap either. Right. So there you go, Heather. Got me modas now. Kate Spine. Which one have I got first? Kate Spain I've got first. So now, what Moda did, I don't know why I shouted that. What Moda did was they asked their favourite designers... They said, from all of our range, please pick your favourite um, bundle of fat quarters to go with your ranges and projects you're working on. You obviously only get one of these. That's what it'll look like when it gets to your house. So this is Kate Spain, 12 of them, for £39.99. OK, so I'll put her over there. Yeah, yeah, I was just make checking I hadn't got an open one over there. So, I don't think that's important, is it? Oh, oh, oh. They're all 18 by 20. Oh, I didn't rip it. It was already ripped. That's why I threw it on the floor. Anyway, Flame, Baby Pink, Cyclamen. The, uh, these names I'm making up, by the way. These aren't the real names. 
Nice deep purple there. Go move on then. Had to concentrate. There you go. So you get uh, 12 in the pack. That's the Kate Spade one. 12 fat quarters, 39 pounds and 99 pounds. It's nice, that one. That'd be nice for blending, wouldn't it? That wouldn't be for a particular project. In my eyes, I was going to say they don't go together. That's not what I mean. What I mean is I would buy that for my stash rather than making a project with it. Yeah. Oh, no, the Heather Bailey, I'd want to put them all in the same. I'd put them all in the same with some, some, spe uh, some Spectrum solids or some, um, they'd be nice. Right, so that's Kate in Spain. And I've also got V and Co, haven't I, in this one? Is it not Kate in Spain? Oh, OK. This one's V and Co. OK, so I'll show you this one through these. So this one has got like um, Seville. I don't know what, what, what oh, like a bricky Seville. These are more muted, these colors. He says that and then brings out a bright pink. These are more kind of muted to me, these colors, the V and Co ones. Again, I think I'd have this for my stash. Oh, do you know what? Who was it? Was it Victoria Pete that did that cushion? Which she used Kate Fassett and Chin. She did the cactuses. These would be nice if you're doing a garden project. You've got to look at all of those for your foliage and then all of those for your flowers. I'm thinking. Okay, I've still got... Uh, I've only got one more to show and then I can recap. Is there, is there anything anybody wants to see again? Or am I all right? Just to carry on. Okay. No. Okay, so that was V and Co. Uh, now this, I had yesterday. And I don't think I was supposed to have it yesterday. 8 99 this is. There are eight fat quarters in here. These fabrics are, uh, are, are I, I'm going to tell you now, they are finer than the, you know, as in uh, more sheer. I'll just pick one up for you. Brilliant for cushioned backs, brilliant for backing and things like that. But I'll just show you, right? It's, the fabric is more of a muslin than it is a heavy cotton, like all of these. See what I mean? Fabulous, fabulous. Eight fat quarters you get in there for eight pounds and nine pence. But as you can see, it's much, much finer, the fabric. I just want you to know. I just want you to know so you don't think they're all, they're all the same, they're all the same um, weight of fabrics. But look at the price. Eight pounds and ninety-nine pence. Now, I always think these look like Robin Hood and his merry men, these, don't I? Because I've got Robin Hood. We've got Maid Marion, Sheriff Nottingham, Will Scarlet. And who do we have left over? Little John. Friar Tuck. No, he's Friar Tuck. Who did I say he was? Oh, no, I meant he to be Friar Tuck. That was Sheriff, and this was Sheriff of Nottingham, that one. So, Sheriff... Maid Marion, Peter Pan, no, wrong, <laughs> wrong show. Uh, Robin Hood, Will Scarlet, and the, 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 no, what was he called again? Friar Tuck. You need a lot of fabric for Friar Tuck. That's what they remind me of, but they could be different for you. Not Peter Pan. I always remember Anita Harris as Peter Pan. That show my age, isn't it? Do you remember Anita Harris? She's still alive, obviously. I'm not saying you remember her. Playing Peter Pan. Right. Right, out of all the fat quarters, the most limited one is this one now. Less than five. £99.99. It's Tim Holtz. You get 25 fat quarters. Foundation Eclectic Elements, it's called. I love that. Now, if you have got that in your basket, please be careful because I've got less than five of those left. And putting it in your basket does not guarantee you're going to get it. Remember? <coughs> oh, someone's just asked what? Oh, right, somebody just asked about this. Oh, it's there, it's there. You can see it on me, but... Um, thank you, Jay. Oh, I thought you had biscuits in your hand then. Right, the fabric that my shirt's made out of is this one. 
It's from the 8 o'clock show. Paul made this shirt, and this is the fabric he made it from. Navy and red, heavy cotton check, 3.99 half a metre. Half the stock of that one has gone. Half the stock of that one has gone. Right. How to quilt book. Very quickly. The book's been very popular this hour. That one's uh, more than half of that one's gone. This is the how to quilt book uh, for absolute beginners. $7.99. If you're thinking of setting, uh, not setting, starting up, quilting for the first time. It's got so many lovely beginner techniques in it. Tie quilting there. Simple quilt block, table mat. Because what it is, it shows you how to do a technique and then it puts it into a project for you. I am, um, see that, that, that pin board there? You remember, you know Jean, my friend Jean? And she was married to Brian and sadly Brian uh, is no longer with us. But before he went, he made me a pin board made of champagne corks. Because he said, I remembered you love champagne so much, so he made me a pinball that's champagne cards. <coughs> really, really lovely thought. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, don't go anywhere. Paul is up next doing a wall hanging organiser. Now, um, we've got this, uh, it's new to me, this, this iron-on plasticky to make it waterproofy thing. I'll show you all about it when you come back. What's it called? Laminax. Laminex. Leminax. Melanax. Anyway. I'll be back in three minutes from now. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. This New Year's Eve, we're rounding the year up in style. 2017 has been a so very special year for us at Sewing Quarter and we're bringing you two hours dedicated to the creme de la creme, the best of all the exciting projects and kits that 2017 has seen. Take a trip down memory lane with John Scott as he indulges us in our favourite quilt sets, including Alison Glass with its beautiful dancing circles of deep sea blues and Cave's rolling stone quilt giving you your very own colourful masterpiece at home. We like to celebrate in style, so we're bringing you an exciting trip around the world 2018 quilt set, filled with vibrant spring colours and jewelled purple tones for a truly incredible price. The perfect project to kickstart your new year. We'll also be joined by some of our favourite cuddly friends with Joe Carter's best-selling kits, The Bear in a Bag, and a charmingly cute elephant set. We can't wait to round up the year with you. So make sure you watch at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. on Sunday the 31st of December and join in with the New Year's Eve fun. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Join us on Tuesday the 2nd of January as Angie Atwood creates three stunning cushions from one grid. Angie's new 2018 patchwork template will inspire you to sew a stunning new cushion for your home. It's the perfect way to refresh your decor when all the Christmas decorations are packed away. Angie has designed three colour schemes that would beautifully enhance your home. Choose from a forest fusion colourway that's inspired by shades of nature, a jewel design that's delightfully decadent with teal and fuchsia hues, and a classic red, white and blue combination. So don't miss this exciting show with Angie at 10am on Tuesday the 2nd of January, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news and share your own creations with us. You know, we all start the new year thinking, oh, New Year's resolution, going to tidy my room, going to do this, going to do that. How about making one of these? Because that will definitely help you sort things out. Put it on a hook on the back of your door. I need one of these for Norman and Nelly's, uh, all Norman and Nelly's paraphernalia. They're my cats, by the way. Um, it's lovely, isn't it? Paul's going to show you how to make this today. But also, 
We've got this, um, now, I don't know if it's new to the company or if it's just new to me. Laminex or Lamiflex, I'll, I'll get it out for you in a second. Lamiflex, it's called. It's an iron-on coating. It's like eau de coating, but you iron it on. But look how shiny and glossy that is. We'll show you how to do that during the hour. And I'll also bring you that fabric to be able to buy during the hour. So let's first, that, we'll just put that there because I've got four bundles to show you if you do want to make that lovely organizer. So I'll start with the one, I'll start that one, the blue one there. This is Twist and Shout, the one that, that from the range that's um, all about Beatles songs here. Two and a half meters, you get a meter of uh, Twist and Shout, you get a meter of the Riviera uh, linear, and you get half a meter of the bright blue. You get the thread, you get the interfacing, and you get the instructions. All of that for 34 pounds and 99 pence, okay? Then we've got the one that Paul is about to demonstrate with, which is very pink. So again, you get a meter. I like this fabric. Have I seen this before, Hannah? Have I? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Amy Reba, that one. So anyway, you get a meter of this, you get a meter of the soft pink, and you get half a meter of the kind of... Um, Deep orchid, you get the thread. Oh, hang on, I've got the wrong thread. Right, hang on. Um, you get a red thread with that one. Then you also get a um, instructions and the interfacing. Jitterbug collection, that was it, yeah. Right, then I've got two. I love Can I do this one next? Because I love this one. Sorry, racing ahead. So you get a meter, look at this, I love this fabric. So you get, this is a Dita Sita, I remember. You get a meter of this, you get a meter of that, and then you get half a meter of the ecru. And you get the thread, right, okay, that's where that thread's come from. And you get the thread, and you get the uh, instructions, and you get the, um, Interfacing. Now, on the last picture, it looked like you got a bright red thread. You don't, on that one, you don't get a bright red thread. You get a kind of, um, well, a toning thread. But the, on the picture, you, it showed a bright red thread. And then last but not least, we've got the uh, farmyard, is it called, this one? I don't know why they called it farmyard, because it's only chickens and boy chickens. So you get a meter of the boy chickens and chickens. You get a meet. I love this fabric. I've only seen it in the navy blue before. You get a meter of this fabric. Now these are like these are like um, linen effect fabrics. These and then this one half a meter of the. Um, I don't think is that um, claret. Oh, it's port. Is it? It's port. I thought port would have been red, isn't it? Anyway, and the thread, and the instructions, and the interfacing, for twenty nine ninety nine. Okay, let's do that, 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 that. This is what we're making. And then we'll go over and see Paul now. Right, have you just turned the iron on? Yes, perfect. Uh -huh. yeah. So, these instructions come in the kit. It, oh, you need a coat hanger as well. You have to supply your own coat hanger. You have to supply your own coat hanger with this one. Is it quite easy to do? I found it quite easy to do, yes. Good, good, good. Right. <laughs> Doesn't mean everybody else will. <laughs> Right, but where yes, yes, I think where so. Where do you start? Um, start at the beginning is a good one. Very good. Which place is literally to start. what I did. Yeah. Um, just preparing all the pieces. Okay. Straight cutting. Just straight pieces. Yeah, it gives you the measurements of all the pieces, cutting the fabric. Right. In the first bit. Um, somebody bought me one of these for Christmas. Did they? Did yes. Father Christmas get you one of those? Yes. So I was very happy. So I was able to put it to practice. And Excellent. Roll. Three strips which go across the top of your pocket. Right, okay, okay. so those okay. strips there are the equivalent to these binding strips here on the top of the pocket. Yep. Yep, like so. Yep. Okay, three pockets, two the same size, and the bottom one is... Shallower. It says deeper. It actually looks shallower. It's deeper! No, it looks shallower. I did these for three the same size. Right. Uh, but that one, because it's got the binding, it, if you put binding on that, it would look the same. Oh, okay. Same size. Okay. So, so they're all the same size. Yeah. The bottom one, I just coated the bottom one. Right, should we talk about this for, then? Because I've never example, seen this before. So, yeah. Yeah. so this is how it comes. 
Should you buy it by the half meter then, Hannah? So, oh, it's a one meter piece. Yes, it's the width of it that's narrow, Is that the width narrow, yes. So it's narrow, but it's a metre length, right? So this is what yep. you get. This is what you get. Now, as you can see, on one side, it's really, really shiny. Okay, and then the other half there, the other side, is um, like an opaque. Now, I don't think it matters, but um, uh, we can't guarantee that it'll be joined. No, it won't be. It definitely won't be, because it says it's a metre piece. If it was going to come joined together, it would say per metre or by half a metre. So right. if you buy two, you'll get two of these. They won't be joined together. £4.49. But I'm sure that the projects you use it for, you're not going to need an uh, enormously long piece, are you? No, I've used... Um, I've lined the bottom, the inside and outside of that pocket, yeah. and also the same amount of the backing. Right. And enough to do this, okay. which is one pocket. Yes. So you could probably do all the front of all three pockets. Okay. Um, With that. Last time this was on, it I've never seen it before, it completely and utterly sold out. So it's called Lammy Fix. Uh, we, we got more stock this time then. Got more stock this time. It's 4 49 That's what you get for your £4.49. That's the metre length and that's the width of the fabric there. So now I would be terrified to take an eye <laughs> onto that. Can you just take, talk me through it? Sure. Let me just sure. put that there. Because I was like that at first. So I thought, if I could iron that, it's going to stick to the iron, yes, surely. Exactly. I'm There's loads like, of people coming I'm a bit in like that with Bond Web as well, because it's like, uh, is it going to stick, isn't well, it going to stick? But, but Bond that, Web, you can sort of understand because it's kind of like papery, whereas that yes. looks like you put any heat to it, it's going to go yeah. like that straight away, doesn't it? So I went on Tinterweb and looked oh, up yes. instructions on how to use it, and it's all on there, so go on there, have a look. Yeah, actually, if you just put uh, la lam Visaline uh, Lamifix in, yeah. that's how I learned about it yesterday, because I didn't know what it was, so I put yeah. it in, in the... Um, the, the Google yesterday, or the Bing, or the Yahoo. Mm -hmm. uh, so now, so you need to put it on the right side of the fabric. You put it shiny side up on yes. your right side of your fabric. Okay. Because so the, the gluey stuff is on the, the third matte the stock's side. Gone. Third the stock's gone. We had 100 metres, third the stock's gone. Um, wow. <laughs> uh, but, but then I'm presuming then that when you iron it, the opaque side disappears then. The opaque side sticks to the fabric, so that is your, but your it, glue. It, but, it, like, when you've got it here, like this, mm. it's muted yes. the fabric, whereas on that, it on the real finished thing, it hasn't muted the fabric at all, so the glue exactly. must go completely clear. Then, yeah, it must when bond you heat to it. it completely. Okay. So, it's suggested ironing... Let me move this out of the way. Right. Ironing your fabric first... Yeah. ..to make sure you've got... Oh, no yes, it says that on the website, doesn't it? No Iron it. Make wrinkly sure bits. you've ironed your fabric first, because you don't want creases yeah, no in your... Yeah, no bits. Get all the fluff and the odd bits of cotton out the way as well. Yeah. Because otherwise, they will stick in between the layers, and you'll never get them out then. When you first put it on, I suggest doing it, and you they can move it about if you haven't done it properly right, the first okay. time. So get your fabric quite warm. Yeah. So make sure that's all nice and flat, no fluff gets on it. And then... So I now it doesn't matter that there are creases in the lamy f no. fix then? No. Lamy fix. <laughs> I keep, I'm it's keep weird, looking, it doesn't sound quite right, is it lamy fix? Now you smooth it out as much as you can. You can't iron it to get these creases out no, because it would just not. stick to whatever you're doing. And then... A clean, well, a piece, another piece of fabric. Yeah, or you can, use, it says on the thing, you can use tea towels or you can use baking paper, which okay. I'm not sure if that's, uh, I think it'd be greaseproof paper. I don't think it would be uh, freezer paper because freezer paper's also got that a layer on it as well, CS. hasn't it? So I would use, either use brown paper, baking paper, or they say you can use a tea towel, or indeed, uh, uh, don't use your best fabric because obviously just use a piece of fabric you might have in stock. So you want the heat of the iron to get through this, so one layer of fabric will be enough. Do you do, did you do steam or did you do it dry? Initially, you do it dry. Right. And you just cover the whole area. Are you putting any um, force on it or you just literally let the iron Not glide? really. I'm just letting the iron do all the work, really. It's the heat rather yeah. than the pressure. So cover the whole area. And what settings are on? Just the, the three? Um, this is on maximum, so... Yeah. yeah. 
I think it should go a little bit cooler. Start off a bit cooler. Right. <laughs> yeah, start off a bit so cooler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cover the whole area. Then that just peels back, and you, oh, can, and you see can see the areas where it hasn't where, hasn't yeah, caught yet. So you enough. can go back. So where it's actually caught, it's gone completely see through. Yes. And then the area where it's still slightly opaque is where you need to go back and re. Go back and redo it. Oh, half the stock's but gone already. Half the stock has gone already. At this point is when you can still move it about. Oh, okay. So if yeah, it's if it's like it in the wrong place, it will still peel off. If you got it in the wrong place, you can still peel it off and it will still retain some right. of the stickiness. Okay. So once you're happy, it's all yeah. where it should be. You've got no bubbles in it. Yes, but then you can work those bubbles out. You can like, work those I mean, obviously, out. we're making you do it really quickly. Yeah. When you do this at home, yeah. you're actually going to take your time to do it, aren't you? Then you ramp up your, oh, okay. your heat and then cover the whole area. Now, a lot of people are messaging in saying, why is this different to eau de coat? I've got... Was it Sue, did you say? Yeah, Sue the message in saying, what's the difference between this and eau de coat? Well, eau de coat, first of all, is the gloop that you, you, you can paint onto fabrics. Now, the thing about this is once that's stuck on, you can do it straight away, can't you? Whereas yes. eau de coat, you do have to wait a few hours for it to dry. But also, eau de coat, I love eau de coat, you know, because I go on and on about it all the time. Eau de coat will give you a finish like this, where the fabric has got a bit of a sheen to it, but it's not glossy, whereas the uh, lamin Lamifix, Lamifix makes it very, very <laughs> glossy. So it just depends on you which way around you want to do it. I, it's up to you. It's up to you which way you want to do it and, uh, and what effect you want at the end. I think that works brilliantly for things like this with the plasticised um, coating, whereas this looks gorgeous on makeup bags and wash bags and things like that. So I think it's, uh, it's totally... You see, if I was doing a tablecloth for outside, I'd use eau de coat. But if I was doing something like this, this organiser, I'd use that one, definitely, because I'd want the gloss effect to it. Look, so that's the finish, that's it with it pressed on there. So what's happened is you haven't lost any of the pattern of fabric, you haven't lost any of the colour of the fabric. This is Lamifix, this one here, obviously. On I you don't lose the colour on either of them, but I would be frightened of ironing a coat on like that and for that fabric to go dull, but it doesn't mm, go no, dull, does it? No, no, I think the shine of it helps as yes. well. Uh, well, it just leave it, it to cool. Then. The shine, doesn't yes, it, it does. Yes. The shine. Looks brilliant. Yeah. So you have to just let, let leave it, it cool. cool down. So okay. um, you, cool. you don't go burning your fingers on no. it. So now all the pockets. Oh, I'll go on to the main. No, I'll do the pockets first. Make do your mind. I'll up. do the pockets. First. Nora's watching. <laughs> she is watching my every move. Oh. The pockets simply made. All three are made the same way. All right, I'll let me get it. You fold your fabric in half, raw edges even. The fold is going to be the bottom of your pocket. You cut your binding strips. Yes. And it's simply your quilting. You're going to attach it to one side, fold it over, attach it to one side, stitch it, fold it over, top stitch. Um, now, in the last show, you had a tin oh, with pins in. I did. And now it's you've still got there. a pin cushion. Still there, my tin's still there. Oh, okay. Yes, these are easier to get out of, uh, yes. out of a pin cushion. So if I just stitch that. All right. You see, now this has cooled down already, so you don't have to wait long before you can start using it. I'll just put it out of the way over there. So uh, in the, it tells you how to do all of this in the instructions, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, I, I literally walked through the instructions and just followed it step by step and yeah. came out with the end result. It gives you the seam allowance, the how wide to cut the strips as well. So there's no there's no pattern as such. There's just it's because they're just straight pieces, really. It's, it's rectangular pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Them off. I suppose the most difficult the most difficult thing is going to be the shaping around the top. Let me take those out. Anyway, the shaping of the top around the coat hanger. Yes. So okay. for this, back to the ironing board. Sorry. My mum spotted you do your ironing with your left hand. Say that again. My mum spotted you do your ironing with your left hand. Do I? Yes, because you were doing some pressing the other day and uh, you were ironing that way. And of course, 
everybody could see I don't, what they're doing. Do you not? Maybe it's just... No, I, I think it's it. because of the way this is set up. Yes. The lines on the end there, and if I'm talking... Uh, hello, John and Paul. Do I need to use a different needle for the lamifix to sew it? I didn't. Right. No. No, I didn't. Does it, does it, it um, I was going to say gap, make the needle gammy, but that's the wrong word, isn't it? Does it, does it make the needle, do you need to change the needle afterwards or anything no, like that? No, no, I didn't. Okay. I think if you, it, when you, when you say, because remember yesterday we had the, the plastic uh, sheeting that Lucy was using to make see-through pockets. She used the same needle for that, but she just said, she just checked afterwards to make sure it hadn't, not blunted it or anything, but I suppose you've got to think about it's going through more layers than it would be if it was just going through cotton. It was thicker to go through. And yes. Especially when you're putting the bottom pocket on and you've got the binding going all the way around. Yes. It, the machine didn't grumble. I just used a standard needle and it yeah. went through okay. You can see right. that because he's ironing behind the uh, finished thing. <laughs> so you can't see those bits. So fold your binding back over the top, yeah. fold a little bit over, and then fold it down. Yeah. And then you go. So it's just like putting a bind, binding or straight binding on. I mean, that's a Round straight binding, obviously, because it's a straight line. Yes, it wasn't bias binding, this is just cut yeah. straight. I mean, again, you could use whatever binding you want. You could use the same colour, same fabric. Yes, because uh, obviously we've put a metre of the two patterns and half a metre of the fuchsia. Um, but you could use it, which are, obviously there's not enough of this to do your pockets with or anything, but if you wanted, if you wanted to... Um, Find your pockets in the other fabric you could do if you wanted to. Or you could have one fuchsia pocket. One oh, yeah, you could have one plate. Yeah, exactly. All three is the same colour. So that is one pocket done. Okay. All three pockets done exactly the same way. That's quite good because everything's, everything's enclosed, isn't it? Yes, and then the binding on, down the side. On a lot of these, you, f you sew it and bring it up, don't you, those middle pockets? But this one's already enclosed. Sorry, mm -hmm. Hannah, what were we saying? Oh, thank you for that, whoever sent that in. Eau de coat you can wash, but lamifix you can't wash. Ah, I suppose you could wipe, you could wipe lamifix down, but you can't put it in the washing machine or wash it. Yeah. So there you go. Thank you for that. We didn't read that. You probably yesterday. wouldn't be putting this through the washing machine because you can't get the coat hanger out once it's in. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> so. No, no. But then if you spilt something on this, like the lamb, you think you could it wipe, would wipe it. off. Yeah. Could. yeah. If so Hannah spilt her curry down, as you see, then it would be... <laughs> pocket for each of the curries yes, she's got. <laughs> she's got a pocket for each of the curries, yes. So that is put on the same way along with that one. So there are your three pockets. Right. So, so you've done, you've done, those. have you done that pocket, the bottom pocket, exactly the same? It, that is slightly deeper. I think it's about four centimetres deeper. No, no, sorry. Deeper, I mean, as in, as in you, fin you finish oh, yes. with the lamy fix. You do exactly the same. Yeah. You put the binding on there, yeah. turn it over and turn it over. So you've got exactly this, but it's lined in lamy fix. Exactly the same. Right. It says that in the, in the yeah. instructions. So treat them all the same Because you'd think, you think, because that's got a binding, they'd just leave the raw, ed they'd just leave raw edges at the bottom there because it was going to go into a binding, wasn't it? But it's, it's all could. finished off. Yeah, you could, but... Uh, yeah. Or just put one piece, you just put one piece at the bottom. Yeah, could and do. Coat it both sides. And um, the instructions are very, very thorough. Are they are these Rebecca Reed ones? Yes, they are. Yes. They will be very thorough and everything will fit together perfectly because she's the technical editor <laughs> of the magazine, <laughs> Simply Sewing magazine. Um, pictures uh, and the instructions. Mm? Yes, I'll give you her email address <laughs> if you want to complain at any point. <laughs> right. The back and front pieces. Again, cut two rectangles. Tells you in the instructions. Gives you the instructions. Yeah. Pop your coat hanger on the top. Find your Obviously centre you point. Obviously, display your own coat hanger. Yeah. This doesn't find, come with the kit. Find your centre point. Mark where that is. Right. I have done there. Just see one little, yep, little yep, catch. Yep. Little notch there. I've just got to move this out of the way because it's reflecting. OK, a bit too shiny. There you go. That's yours, is not perfect. Right. Draw on one of your pieces the slope of your coat hanger. Okay. So, obviously they're all different shapes. Some are a bit flatter than others. Yes, yes, yes. This is just one I picked. Um, and then cut those edges off, leaving 
a centimetre seam allowance. How, where, how do you know how far down the hook's going to come? As in, how do you know it's... Because on this one, obviously, you've got oh, a, little, a little bit of the shoulder here. Yeah. You just have to like, lay like, like it flat like yes, you have Yes, work done, where it is, because some, some will be higher than others, yes, so yeah, yeah. Your, your shoulder will be more sloping okay. or, or straighter. Brilliant. Then you interface one piece. Oh, you know, okay. This is the front oh, piece. Oh, get, interfa get, interfa uh, in, in, get interfacing in the kids interface anyway. Interface the yeah. front piece. Yeah. Uh, you don't need to with the back. Right. Cut the shoulders off. Yes. And then you're going to turn over and turn to the inside, double hem basically. Right, so you turned and turned. Double hem, turn and turn, yep. and then stitch that. Okay. Now if we do that. And then these become the inside hem across the top. So the bit you're doing is this, this bit across here, yes? Oh, come on, up, 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 up. You all right? Yeah. You're doing a Janice, you're chattering to yourself. No, I'm used to the needle staying up when I'm when it finishes. My oh, machine, see, my yeah. machine does it that way, so just what you get used to, isn't yeah. it? Like driving a car. Only with only one pedal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so both of those. Right. One. Two. Oh, that one press. oh no, you're right, because I would also <coughs> <coughs> Your mum's right, because I'd now do that like this. Yes. Well, but I don't do no, my ironing at a, home with I my I haven't noticed. She, she spotted it. Mm. Very observant. Christine says, Why, when binding the Lamy Fix pocket, do you finger press it? When binding the Lamy Fix. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to press it, press it, I don't think. No, you wouldn't iron, you wouldn't, didn't need to iron it. No. Um, but we'll have a look now when we get to it, no. so we'll get to that bit now, Christine. So, yes, thank you. Okay, there you go. Okay. So th this is the bit that threw me. All right. Because I was expecting to sew the two together, wrong, right side, right together, side together, and, and then turn it, to turn it inside out. But you're not. But no, I didn't. It sewed. Put the two pieces wrong sides together with your interfacing on the inside. Right. Okay. Then you're just going to pin all the way round. Oh, because you're going to bind it, aren't you? So yes. You don't, yeah. So you've got your hem at the top there. Yeah. On both sides. So line those up and then you're just pinning all the way round. This is where it gets awkward because this is where the co Cotanga gets Cotanga's in the way. got to stay there, hasn't it? You're yes. going to stitch down the shoulders and all the way around the outside. Yep. So you have to be, you have to watch your coat. So you can bit, move yeah. that about at this stage. Yes. So you can move it to one side, but when you get round to the other. Yes. So you're pinning just all the way around that. So important that you put your coat hanger in at this point, because no other way of doing no. it. No, because when I've made this in the past, I was like, oh, why don't you just pop her at the top? But then if you've got poppers or something like that, it's not going to take the weight of the things inside the pockets, is it? No. They might pop her no. open. Get my pins going the right direction. Now, your coat hanger is sticking out the hole. Does that matter? Not yet, because I. Oh, okay. It will get moved about oh, until right. I come okay. around to actually sewing it. So just keep flattening it all. Yeah. But the pieces are cut exactly the same length, width, and everything, so they should match up. Yeah, should. Should. I like that word, should. <laughs> Use it a lot. <laughs> Joe says, hello, guys. How wide is the Lamy Flex, flex please? It is. Oh. Got it here. Hang on. I've got, I was just going to do it quickly on there. Uh, 18 inches wide, it is, which is, um, I've got sentiments on that side. I'll do it on this one. Oh, actually, this board's not quite right. It's, uh, oh no, 17 and three quarters wide. Oh, you haven't got, oh, you've got centimeters there, but they're so small, I can't see them. The Lamy Fix is very, very limited now, though, if you want it. 
So 17 and 3 quarter inches wide, 45 centimetres. Going across the bottom of your screen now. Got another project to tell you about in it. You're welcome, Joe, my love. That's your tape, Thank you. Thank you. Just thought what you could do is just start at the bottom edges, so up then put the coat hanger in from the bottom. Oh, OK. And then that sort of keeps it out of the way yes, while you're sewing around the shoulders. So that was a, another option. Otherwise, you're fighting with the coat hanger all the way. So yes, I'm going to exactly. do that. Move that down there. Yeah. Out of the way. Yeah, uh, when he said out of the way, it wasn't all to me. No, it was out of the way the of the machine. Down inside the, um, <laughs> thing. Actually, while you're just sewing around there, because you're just doing straight edges, aren't you? Yes. Don't do anything else. I'm just going to go and do bundles while you're doing that. Okay. And, then, um, and then we'll come back. So don't do any sewing without me. Right, the bundle that Paul's using, the pink one. Uh, so you get uh, a metre of the pink, a metre of a pattern, a metre of the pa pastel pink, Half a metre of the deep orchid, the thread, the input, uh, the, you see, oh no, it's all right, that thread, it's, it looks a bit brighter on the picture. Um, interfacing and instructions, 30 pounds and 99 pence. Floral, I love this one. Oh, it's less than 10 of these left. Less than 10, I love, love, love this fabric. So, you get a metre of this, you get a metre of this, and you get half a metre of the écru. You get the thread, the instructions, and the... Uh, very, very popular, that one. Uh, and, that, and the instructions and the interfacing, £33.99. Then the one that uh, Paul's already made, the Twist and Shout. You get a metre of Twist and Shout. You get a metre of Riviera... Oh, I can't never say that word. Riviera Linea. And half a metre of the bright blue. You get the thread, the instructions, and the interfacing. And then the farmyard one. Now, the farmyard one, the width of this fabric is much wider than all the others look. Look. Now, the, the, it's upside down, it is. This is, now this one is, it's the only one, but this one is... 80% cotton, 20% polyester, this one. This is the chickens and the boy chickens. I don't know what you call a boy chicken. No. Anyway, so you get the, the meat. Uh, there you go. You get a metre of that. You get a metre of the tile and half a metre of the port. You get the thread, the instructions, and the interfacing for 29.99. Now, how much lamy fix is left? Right, please be careful. Please be careful. I had 100 metres this when we started the show. Over, oh, over 100. Over 100. Sorry, I thought you said 100. Right, uh, we're down to how much now? Just less than 20. It's brilliant, isn't it? 4 49 This is what you actually get for your £4.49. If you buy two, they won't be joined together. You'll get two sheets like that. But people are multi-buying. Lots of people multi-buying that one. Fabulous. Right, have a look at the still of the finished item while I walk over. Close up of the top pocket, not the lamb effects pocket. Right, so what are you doing? I'm attaching the oh, binding, doing the binding to, to the, the binding. lamb effects while you're, while you're stitching that, should yeah. I tell you about the other pattern? Should I do that now, Hannah? Um, because we've got another storage idea for you here that Paul's not making, but I just, we just thought we'd show it to you because it might match in quite nicely. Uh, you're not missing anything. Paul's literally just doing... Oh, go on. One thing I will say on this yeah, on. is when you're stitching it, it, it tends to slide, so it's not gripping as you go oh, through okay. the machine. So, so it might be an idea to put the binding underneath. Oh, OK. Or put some tissue paper underneath. Or put some tissue paper underneath because I'm um, finding... Yes, so it's, it's, not, it's not the easiest it's uh, not, to sell. 
pulling. Because remember, through. the lamy, lamy fix is on both sides, isn't it? Because we did the whole piece and folds it around. Um, this is the other uh, storage idea that we thought you might quite like. This is a butterick pattern. $7.99. Cylindrical and rectangular storage bins. Let me just um, turn it around so you've got all those different patterns in there. All the different options. £7.99. pence. So um, what you could do is get the pattern as well and maybe use the fabric. If you didn't want a wall organiser, use the fabrics that we've done in there for that. But we've also got other fabrics to show you. You're still doing straight lines? I am. I don't want to take yes. away from you. No, no, no. Right. Just doing the same as I did on the other part. Okay, here. brilliant. I'll show you these other fabrics then while I'm quickly here. Cotton canvas in beige. It's more of a mocha colour than beige, I'd say that, isn't it? 365 for half a metre. What's the width? Oh, it's wide. It is 60 inches wide. So let's watch me struggle <laughs> with my tape measurement. Oh, it's got it here. <laughs> is that a canvas? Oh, it's, that's yes, nice. Yeah, it's nice. Like it's that. cotton canvas, yeah. yeah. So that's in beige, but I would say that was more of a cappuccino colour. I've also got it in a pale blue which is fabulous. It's called duck egg. Duck egg blue, or well, not even duck egg blue, just duck egg. Half a meter is three pounds 65, 60 inches wide, cotton canvas. Nice, I like that color, beautiful fresh color one. Then I've got some vibrant pink. Ooh, I like that. Fuchsia. Cotton canvas, fuchsia. Fuchsia. Three pounds and 65 pence for half a metre. Okay, and then now I've got a couple of others to show you. Ducks. Is it called ducks or is it called, oh no, it must be ducks. Well, one looks like a goose actually, but. Shabby? <laughs> They're not shabby. One's a mallard, isn't it? One's having a quick kiss there, look. 140 centimetres wide. Now, this one is linen look. This is 80% cotton, 20% polyester. 4.99 for half a metre. That one's limited. That one's limited. Then I've got, now, you know my friend Barbie? This will be her favourite. This will be her favourite fabric. She's got, her, in her kitchen, in her country casual, not country casual, country cottage kitchen, she's got this, but she's got it laminated as her tablecloth. The only one, it's the only spot one I've got. Mm, olive. I call that olive, would you? But if you order it, that's what you'll get. <laughs> that's what you get. Ignore the fact it says olive. Okay, and then I've got one more, red squirrels. They're very rare, aren't they, red squirrels? This is the one that's 8% cotton, 20% polyester again. Hectic red squirrels, these are. Hectic red. <laughs> linen look fabric, it's not linen. It's got cotton and polyester in it. Red squirrels, very rare. Right. I think that's everything in my trolley for this hour. Still stretching straight lines. Are you still doing straight oh, lines? Oh, one more. One job. Paul. One more, I know. <laughs> straight line stitching. Yes. <laughs> Well, they look nice. On, placed, only so, so that um, I could show how the binding goes on. Yeah. And you need all three pockets in. So I thought, well, fine. We've got plenty of time. Plenty We're just halfway, over, halfway through the show. Oh, plenty okay. of time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 Richard, I nearly said that. Richard hasn't been here for months. Eh? Timothy just said, but surely the binding's just straight stitched as well. He knows nothing <laughs> about sewing. You've got mitered corners, Timothy. Yes, yes. And a, and a strange shoulder corner as well. That was a bit. Say that again. The strange top one of the shoulder. Oh yes, yeah. Dinner, which was a bit bit strange. Yeah. We could get Timothy down to show us how straight. Let's run that through and then it's pins out the way. Yeah, we had uh, you met director Mike the other day on there. He came on to show us how to fold. We were doing napkins, and he folded this really lovely napkin, mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, I opened it and then couldn't get it back together so it had to come down and refold <laughs> it on there. And he came down and did a whole performance. He was like, Marcel Marceau. 
Yeah, very magician. Little Paul was. Little Paul directed while he was down here. Because Little Paul has also been a director in the past life. Not in the past life, but in, felt like a past life. No, no, that really was a camel seller in the past life. Right. Right. Does it matter where you place them? Does it tell you, well, that one obviously has to go there? That one, well, you could put that one at the top if you want to put your white yeah. stuff in at the top. So your choice, but that is a deeper pocket. Okay. Now, on that one, I, I was going to say, if you not put... I put some Lamy fix on the, the front yeah. piece as well, so <clears throat> it'd be waterproof inside. Oh, and that's there. good. So if you use it like, well, not swimming trunks, but you know what I mean? If there's a like flannel, a put a wet flannel yeah. in there, couldn't you? Yeah. Hannah, a wet flannel. <laughs> Um, I think it's now when you decide where to do your oh, pocket yeah. stitching. Um, of course, because each of the pockets aren't just... Yeah. Ropes. Each of the pockets aren't one big pocket. This one's segmented into four. This one's segmented into three. Now, in the, in the instructions, they just tell you to decide where to put your... It doesn't tell you exactly where no, to sew No, it just them. says... So that bit's not to in the Choose whichever... That, uh, with the pocket you want, depending yes. on what you're going to be using it for. Well, I suppose you see, if you've got lots of hairbrushes, you'd want narrower ones, wouldn't you? And combs yeah. and things like that. If it's in the garden, you're going to put... A well, it seems a shame to put trowels in there, but you know what I mean? But garden shed, it'd be <coughs> ideal, because it wouldn't get so dirty. The thing is, if, you, if I did it in the garden shed, I might want to do the, the whole, whole thing, you wouldn't would, you, really? Yeah, you would want to do the whole thing. Or eau de cope, or you'd be better yes. then. It's a, a, yeah. whichever you want. So pin your pockets in place, wherever you decide you want them. The only thing I was sort of a bit careful of is don't put this pocket too close to your coat hanger. Your coat hanger, because when you're stitching up to get oh, your pocket yes, sizes, yes, 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 yes. Oh, that yes. is going to be in yeah. the way. Or get a coat hanger that hasn't got the, the crossbar. Oh, yeah, right. would that be the strong wooden, enough? Well, the wooden coat hangers. Oh, you can have a wooden one the without crossbars. The wooden one that's just got the, the I just don't arms. have coat hangers without crossbars on. Cause no, because they're great for yeah. trousers. So. so evenly spread them out so that you've got yeah. them in the right place. And then you're just going to sew down them. Okay. And across the bottom. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You don't think it's falling out of your pocket. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we'll just pin another one in. So at the side seams, do you base that in or do you just leave that? You just leave that drawer for the time being. I would base it in because okay. then it's it's in place, yeah. isn't it? And then you do your, your segments for your yeah. pockets. So shall I just assume that they are sewn in or shall I do uh, one? You've got plenty of time. Oh, I'll do one of the pockets yeah. then. Right. Pop that one in. You can sew more straight lines. <laughs> so I how long have I got then with Paul? <laughs> Oh, 15 minutes. 15 got minutes. Okay. You've got to do the binding, yeah. It shows how yeah. to do the binding, right. haven't you? But so if I just... Yeah, because we want to see you struggle with you the You want to see me struggle with the coat hanger, is. don't you? So I'll put that into the machine. I'm just going to sew now across the bottom of that pocket. Okay. Because that, that's important that things don't fall out. There's not a pocket then, is it? It's just a pass-through. Yes. Oh, I don't know. Come on. Is this where you need a friend then to hold your coat hanger? Yeah, and I've not got any. You haven't got any friends. I'm sure Nora would pop round and do it for you. <laughs> Nora's his mum, by the way, who's watching. OK, tip. This is going to be fun, this. How did you manage with yours at home, then? I can't remember now. Probably like that. Do you have to have done... I think what I would do is I wouldn't have sewn the shoulder seams up yet. I'd have left the shoulder seams open because you haven't had to bag it out, have you? You're just binding it. <clears throat> so what I think oh, I would do, cool. which was against Rebecca Reed's thing, is I wouldn't have sewn these two bits up yet. So you can still do all of this, yeah. and then afterwards slip the coat hanger in and then just do the two shoulder seams, maybe. Yeah, because you're going to put binding yeah, exactly. from there all the way round, yeah. so it doesn't need to be done all in one. No, no, one so, I, so that, I, that's what that I would do, that is leave that open then. so you wouldn't have any of this hassle, then put the coat hanger in, then to do, to the, do the two shoulder seams, then but You're still going to have to hassle, because you're going to have to bind it with the coat hanger in it, aren't you? But 
Yes, but that wasn't too bad because you're pretty close to the edge. Though. Yeah. Well, you live your life there, don't you? Pretty close to the edge. <laughs> Very close to the edge. Sometimes over the top. Uh, idea, if you sewed the top of each panel on the top and down the sides, you'd create tubes for shoe storage. If you sewed the top of each panel on the top and down the side. Don't know what you mean, Lorraine. Yeah, got flip-flops in like that. That's what we're doing, you see. The top and the side. I don't. I think she's. I think. I think she's drunk. What time is it? Oh, no, it's a bit early. It's a bit early to drunk. She's on medication because she's not been well. <laughs> um, because uh, uh, you could you could do it with shoes like this though, couldn't you? You could you could um, the way we're doing it. Unless Lorraine's got funny shoes that would go upwards. I don't know if she's got big feet. Did she? I can't remember looking at her feet. I met her at Festival of Quilts. Next year at Festival of Quilts, I'll look at her feet. And it turns out the wedding I went to a couple of days ago, they had the stag do at the same place that Lorraine goes on holiday to in Gran Canaria. Sparkles, it's called. Sparkles. I don't think you'd like it, Timothy. Be too much fun for you. Yeah, boring and great he likes. He doesn't like the sunshine, doesn't like sparkle, he doesn't like anything like that. Well, it'd be fun to go on all day with them. Huh? He'd be fun to go on all day with them. Try working with him, that's hard to know. <laughs> he's gone quiet now. Oh, he's looking up sparkles in Grand Canaria. <laughs> Don't do you it. might see a picture of Lorraine there. She goes on holiday for two weeks. She has a different ball gown for every night. That's it. Sparkle Show Bar in Grand Canaria. Is it in the Jumbo Centre, I think? Or Yumbo? Umbo, is it isn't it? Umbo or something like that. Oh, he's now. He's sat in the sand like he wants to go now. Oh, you're right. Yep, miss me. Watch the pins. It missed me. Oh, no, I'm sure mm. not. I'm sure you can't. You ran out of pop, didn't you? Oh, no, you ran out. No, it's just caught. Cool. It's just caught, cool, yeah. It's caught a bit in the third down. There you go. OK. So as I started on that one, I just carried on all the way yep. around, around the bottom of that, around yep. the bottom of that. So that pocket, if you wanted one, one big pocket, mm, yes. Large pocket to put all Oh, those. I see what, look, is Lorraine saying, keep this end open and put shoes in from the side? What she's saying is sew, sew the pocket at the top and the bottom, right. but not. But then when you come through the binding, it'd be a bit awkward, wouldn't it? Yeah, you just have to bind one side and yeah. then just bind, you wouldn't be able to bind Yeah, that. yeah. Sorry. So I've just got that one to sew oh, yeah. as a straight edge. Do that way to keep the coat hanger out. Now, the binding that goes around the edge, is it straight or is it biased? It's straight cut. Okay. Yeah. Just like quilting. We that's got bias that's straight cut, isn't it? I thought they were yesterday. Oh, yes, I've got bias binding makers here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting so old now. Now that I'm 39. <gasps> I'm 38 this year. Then. Oh, are you? I'll be 39 you? next month. Next month? Yeah. Yeah, I'm 39 in June. Again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to stick at 39 now. <laughs> it's a good age. I've been 39, well, how many years? I've tried to stick at 20 years now. Yeah, I tried to stick at 26, but nobody believed no. that one. No, you just really, you can't get <laughs> away with that That's pushing it, one. really, yeah. isn't it? But, don't oh, you, you added years on then. <gasps> well, t t uh, Tim says he's 26, but he looks about 12. Bias binding makers for the binding. Uh, wait, did you do wide or did you do narrow? That, you, mm, well, it needs to be... I'd probably go for the wider. Oh, yeah, that's very narrow, that's isn't it? Too we narrow, had one yesterday yeah. that was about that big. It was like, <laughs> we, it was like a shovel, wasn't it? <laughs> this is the inch-wide bias binding. This is the inch-wide 25 uh, millimetres. What you do is you cut, uh, you can use it for bias or for straight. You can do straight binding in here as well, but this is a bias binding maker. Do what? Oh yeah, hang on. 
Come by. <laughs> we can't hear it because we're not dogs. All the dogs in the land. <laughs> Um, you don't need to use this for this binding, though, because uh, it's straight binding. OK. So, binding. Start at one top end. Yeah. Work all the way round. Fold your first bit of binding over. In, inwards, yes. Inwards, because when you then turn it over and over to the back... You've got a lovely finish there. You've got edge. a nice, neat edge there. OK. So, just literally work all the way around. Now, the, I've cut three strips of fabric. I think inch and a, inch and five eighths. Right. Because that's where my cutting ruler worked really oh, well. Oh, okay, yes, of course. Um, and I've used three of the widths of fabric. Right. Just joined okay. them on a straight, not on a bias. Oh, okay. Didn't say okay. to, so yeah. I just went for that. So I'm gonna make sure I've got, that's gonna be the wrong way, isn't it? Oh, yes, you the, want the stream lance is on the outside. So yes, that is there. So follow that all the way back up. Yes, do that yeah. the wrong way. Hold that in. Hold that over. Start at the open edge. Put the pin in. And then just yeah. work your way all the way around. Right, what you when do you I came to, the to corner? this corner? Oh, right. I got a bit of a pickle over this one. I can imagine. <laughs> Because I think it started on that side, which oh, it's even worse. But it even doesn't really matter because the way, way I got it in my head for the, the quilt binding is the same way. Go up, yeah, then come back down, yeah, and join up those. Did you get that? Corners. Timothy? Oh yeah, well done. Yeah, pop a pin in, in there. Yeah. So when I came to do the sewing, you didn't have to take. I the sewed up to there. Yeah. And then sewed off. Oh, oh, okay then, okay. And then you, when you start again, you fold that back that down and go so down. Yeah. carry on the rest. But for some reason, my whole my bits got tucked inside now through one picking. Oh, it's nothing worse. Nothing worse than that, no, it wasn't comfortable. So you, so could, you just could again, if you haven't sewn your pockets on yet, sewn where the seams of your pockets are, you can still... Yes, I think I'd do, I think I'd do the... Dividing of the pockets last. Yeah, because you last can still thing. get your coat. No, you can't get your coat hanging out of there. But you can move it out of the way. Yeah. Until you, Til you need come to. to do that one last. So yeah. we'll leave that where it is. Just try to think of better ways or easier ways. Because you're binding all the way round. Yeah. So I'll have words you Rebecca Reed about this and see how she did it when she made yeah, it. Yeah, you want one continuous strip across the bottom. So you will want to bind yeah. the bottom. Five minutes with Paul, or five minutes on show. Oh, we've got five minutes, we've got plenty of five time. Five minutes, right, I'll yeah. just show you going around this corner, and then then the rest is uh, your normal binding for quilts. So all those quilters out there will know. Yes, exactly. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Now, this is the question we had earlier, wasn't it? When, right. when we've stitched this bit, would we then press that binding, even though that's underneath? Would you just finger press I'd it? I finger press it, yeah, yeah. because of the uh, mummy fix there. So to the corner, go up parallel to it. Yeah. Then come back down. Yeah. Pop a pin in or the um, wonder clips. Oh yeah. I like using the wonder clips on the corners because they almost finger press that for you. Yes, exactly. That's what I like about those. Yeah, because that will then go over that way. Yeah. So you've yeah. got that the right way. Oh, I think it actually got all the way around with just two strips. It says to cut three strips, which I did. Yeah. But that's one strip to there. Oh, so I I'm going to get just all the way back yeah. on one more, just about. We'll see. Maybe the blue was slightly wider fabric. Maybe. So just keep going. And then round, round, round. Come to the other corner. What I'd quite like to see, you don't have to sew the whole binding on, but I'd quite like to see how you stitch oh. that corner when you said you ran off. You can um, just stitch any of them, but... Oh, okay, I'll start on that one, yeah. then. Not that one. Three and a half minutes, there. yeah. Okay, if I show... Yeah, yeah, don't, you don't, don't, so basically, all you do in real life is you carry on binding all the way around there <clears throat> and then stitch it on and turn it over. But yeah. I just want to see how you do a corner, okay. if that's all right. Right. So start about... You would start at one end and come yeah, all the yeah, way around. Yeah. So well, we're pretending you've come all this there, way around. Get that 
done all that. Stitch that just on. to where the... That's it. Where you folded it. Yeah. Keep your pin down, foot up, and then just come out towards that point. All right, hang on, I can't see that. Back. So when you've got it, it looks like that. So just show that to the camera. So you've stitched along to the point, and then you've just taken the stitch line right down to the corner. Yeah. So when you now stitch it the next bit, you what take will you your do? pin out, you fold that that way, and you start and stitching you start on from the fold. Right, move that hand over where they can. So you start folded. stitching there, down this way. Yeah. But you've got the crease line there, so you yeah, know exactly so you where, the crease line where you know where to start from. Really? So if I do that, now I can show you how, oh, yeah. how it turns oh, through. Yeah. Tap by coat hangers and everything. Yeah. No, I didn't get pinned. I think the, the cutting board just pinched me. So then when you turn it over... So can we just, before you go, sorry, before you go, go for So you've got that one there, that, one that one's there that you took to the corner, yep. then you fold it back this way, and you just start it straight down there. Yeah, okay. straight from there, and then when you fold it over, you've got your normal mitered corner. Fab. And then from the back, you would turn your seam allowance in. Yeah. Fold over. Did you machine that backing or did you hand whip the backing? I machined it. Okay. For speed. So then, and then there is your other mitered yeah. corner. So I took your allowance again, you see my allowance in. Yeah. That's and it. you've got your other mitered corner there. Yeah. Again, Wonder Clip was great for that because it just held it in place while. Running out of pins. I'm sewing around. I know I didn't take enough out of the pot. with all your threads out of the way, is your quick mitered corner. Brilliant. But that just fixes it into place on that side. Of course. And then... Yeah, and then did you machine from this side, yep. or did you machine in the ditch on that side? I machined from the back, so okay. I could see that was Where catching all of it. Yeah. I'm working my way around. Um, if I'd used the same colour thread, you wouldn't have seen this. No, exactly. No, exactly. But, um, and then also, let me just pin that over. On, well, I'll show the blue one, actually. On the blue one, you also put a layer of Lamifix inside yeah, the narrow pockets. Get to it. <laughs> right, so there's a layer of Lamifix inside that pocket there. So that, like Paul was saying, if you wanted to put something damp in there, you, you've, mm. you've got your Lamifix on the outside, Lamifix on the inside, and Lamifix on the fabric at the back. So you've got a totally. There you go. Not that your rotary cutter is going to get wet, <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully um, not. <laughs> brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Now you're back tomorrow. I am. And you're doing two dressmaking projects yes. tomorrow, aren't you? Yes. A frock and a oh, and a PU jacket. A jacket. So is that eight and, and ten tomorrow as well? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, brilliant. So Paul's back tomorrow. You come with me because I've got to do, not you, them. Not me, them. I've got to See do you all bundles. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. Thank you. Right. The bundle that Paul was just using is this one here. Right. Two and a half metres of fabric. You get a metre of this really, really gorgeous. Now, uh, Paul did his pockets in the pattern and kept the pink as his plain in his background. You could do it either, either way around you want, or there's half a metre of the orchid there. You could almost do one of the pockets in the orchid and bind in the different colour if you wanted to. 30 pounds and 99 pence, you get two and a half metres of fabric, you get the thread, you get the uh, interfacing, and you get the pattern, all for 30 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, uh, Christine says, thank you for the brilliant demo on mitered corners, Paul. Thank you, Christine. Next. Love this. This is very, very limited, this one now. So you get a metre of this one, which I love, 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 love this one. 
Oh, okay, there's two left. There's two left of this bundle. So you get a meter of this, you get a meter of this, like the medallion pattern, and you get half a meter of the ecru. You get the thread, you get the pattern, and you get the interfacing, all for 33 pounds and 99 pence. Then the one that Paul had already made, Twist and Shout in the blue, get a meter of the Twist and Shout. This is the one that, the, the one that Paul had already made. Then you get a meter of Riviera <laughs> Linear, and then you get half a meter of the bright blue. You get the uh, interfacing, and you get the instructions, and the thread, 34 pounds and 99 pence. And then last but not least, we've got this one. Chickens. And there's some boy chickens on there. Very popular, this one. I got, remember Teabag Barbara bought me a boy chicken um, metal sculpture to go in my garden? Well, Danny, my gardener, he's bought me one to go with. I've got two of them in the garden now. Anyway, so you get a metre of the chicken fabric, which is sideways in that picture, a metre of the tile fabric, and half a metre of the uh, port. You get the instructions. And then don't forget the lamy fix. Very, very, very limited now. 10 metres left. This is what you get. This is what you get. For your four, was it 4.49? Yeah, 4.49. That's what you get. One metre piece, but that wide. 10, 9, 8, 7. I've got the next hour is the last official hour of winter sale. See you then. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Join us on Tuesday, the 2nd of January, as Andy Atwood creates three stunning cushions from one grid. Angie's new 2018 patchwork template will inspire you to sew a stunning new cushion for your home. It's the perfect way to refresh your decor when all the Christmas decorations are packed away. Angie has designed three colour schemes that would beautifully enhance your home. Choose from a forest fusion colourway that's inspired by shades of nature, a jewel design that's delightfully decadent with teal and fuchsia hues, and a classic red, white and blue combination. So don't miss this exciting show with Angie at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, the 2nd of January, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for the Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. This New Year's Eve, we're rounding the year up in style. 2017 has been a so very special year for us at Sewing Quarter and we're bringing you two hours dedicated to the creme de la creme, the best of all the exciting projects and kits that 2017 has seen. Take a trip down memory lane with John Scott as he indulges us in our favourite quilt sets, including Alison Glass with its beautiful dancing circles of deep sea blues and Cave's rolling stone quilt giving you your very own colourful masterpiece at home. We like to celebrate in style, so we're bringing you an exciting trip around the world 2018 quilt set, filled with vibrant spring colours and jewelled purple tones for a truly incredible price. The perfect project to kickstart your new year. We'll also be joined by some of our favourite cuddly friends with Joe Carter's best-selling kits, The Bear in a Bag, and a charmingly cute elephant set. We can't wait to round up the year with you. So make sure you watch at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. on Sunday the 31st of December and join in with the New Year's Eve fun. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news and share your own creations with us. Right, Hayley says, this is the last official hour of winter sale. I've got fabric, I've got scissors, I've got toys in boxes, I've got hexes. You can't look over there because Jay's over there. But I've got cloth kits, patterns, 
and some cloth kits, cloth kits, and cloth kits toys, lampshades, fat quarters, and there's something else in there. Anyway, let's start. Let's start, let's start, let's start with the fabric then. So it's the last official hour of the winter sale. So let's start. I haven't seen these in the winter sale. Nice. Right, OK. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll move this out of the way. Let me just look at that fabric for a minute, and then I'll just tidy my desk a minute, because I'm going to have to throw fabrics to Jay in a sec. Have a look at that. Cross hatch in red. 40% off this one. 40% off. I'll put those there again. 40% off this one. Uh, was, oh, look, was £7.99, now £4.79. pence. That's cross hatch in red. Now, this, I'm sure this is, if I'm not mistaken, isn't this the organic fabric? 100% GOTS certified organic cotton. Handpicked hand -picked by Carolyn Gavin. Anyway, there you go. Organic fabric for 479 for half a metre. That's lovely. So then we'll move on to the next one. This is like baby bunting, this one. Again, this is the organic um, range, from the organic range. It's not cross hatching red, though. <laughs> As Hannah's brain just suddenly stopped working. She's like, oh, right, right. Seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. This is forty percent off. Four pounds and seventy-nine pence. The organic cotton again. Now I'll just put my hand in so you can see it's a lovely little tiny, tiny print. Oh, I've got very, very big hands. You make your mind up. Making your mind up. Four pounds and seventy-nine pence for half a meter. Okay, apples. Apples and pears. No, just apples. No pears. These are like Granny Smith ones, these, aren't they? I would say other apples are available, but they look like Granny Smith, don't they? What have they got in the middle, though? Is that, can you see the core? Oh, it's an x-ray of an apple. Isn't it? Look. Because you can see the core. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just apples cut in half. It's not an x-ray. Oh, I thought my idea was best. 40% off, organic, remember, organic, organic, organic. Certified. Jay's there, don't worry. Right, cross-hatching green. Oh, this is nice. Do you know what Paul, the Paul, the, this, oh, no, the Paul shirt. The shirt Paul made this morning would look nice than this, he says, still wearing it. Wouldn't it? No disagreeing with me. Cross hatching green. I think Hannah's asleep. Cross hatching green, 40% off. From seven pounds and ninety-nine pence to now four seventy-nine. I like that one. It's nice, isn't it? Jake's gone to answer the door. Won't you at the door? Bailey would have a key, wouldn't she? Oh, this is nice. What colour's this then? Like an ochre. There's a lot of those. Chartreuse. Chartreuse. I didn't they used to have that one of the, one of the um, when I remember when I was little, one of the chocolates had a chartreuse in it. I'm sure it didn't. It was in the shape of a keg, I think, or something like that. Anyway, was $7.99. It is now £4.79. For the half a metre, organic, remember, organic. On. I will go through these, and I'll, I'll recap them again in a second. That's nice. Jake? Well done. What's the one? Oh, this is nice. Nice. Oh, really? This is nice. This is triangles in pink. What's seven ninety nine? Now, four pounds and 79 pence. What did she make out of it? Jay's got this, apparently. What did she make out of it? You made her a what? Oh, that's nice. You made Danny something out of this. Is that to say sorry for being Jay? 
There he is, look. He looks a mess today, but there he is. Oh, he not? Oh, all right then. I thought you were going to show it then. No, he hasn't got curry down his shirt. That's fine. Now, I thought we didn't have any of this left. I love this Gerberas. Kaif. Gerberas is 30% off. Sunshine Gerbera. So is there enough to make a shirt? £4.89 for half a metre. I'll put that one back there myself. Thank you. Pears. Now, I did say, didn't I, earlier, apples and pears. Here's the pears. Now, these are the... Now, explain this one to me, then. Pears in green on aqua. So the, the, the pears are green and the background's aqua. I don't think they have chocolate milk because you don't get to call that shape. I think it's a highlight. Or maybe it's just the artist got a little bit carried away. It's lovely though, isn't it? 479. It's maybe it's organic. Organic was 7.99, 40% off at four pounds and seventy-nine pence. Okay. Last official hour, remember, last official hour of the winter sale. Oh, this is nice. Pairs in pink on yellow. Or has this got chartreuse in it? This one's yellow. Chartreuse. Oh, I'm liking this one. 40% off. Organic. Look. Very busy, isn't it? Very busy. Now, which room, Hannah, is that going in? The bat room? She's got bats in her house now. Or does she collect bats, like cricket bats? I thought pink was up. Oh, yeah, confusion, because pink is upstairs and yellow's downstairs in Hannah's house. Stairway. Right, cross hatch in blue. This is nice. Cross hatch in blue, be there in a second. There you go. That's nice. Oh, I've only got a very limited, very, 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 very limited on this one. Cross hatch in navy. Sorry, I called it blue. Cross hatch in navy. Organic, forty percent off. Four pounds and seventy nine pence for half a meter. That's nice. That would make a lovely shirt or blouse, that would. But I've got confetti now. I've got confetti. <sighs> it's absolutely pumping out the hot air now. Right. Love this one. This one was in a bundle earlier this week, wasn't it? No, it was. I know it was. Yeah, it was. You might not have been here. Dashwood, 30% off this one. Was 6.50, now four pounds and 55 pence. What I'm showing you there is a meter, but for half a meter, it's now four pounds and 55 pence. It's cute, isn't it? By Dashwood, so you know it's good quality. Now remember, if you need more than a meter and a, uh, if you need more than a meter and a half, you need to ring the call center. Anything up to a meter and a half, you can put in your basket on the web, but please make sure you check out. That's fab. That'd make a lovely skirt, look. That'd make a lovely skirt, wouldn't it, that one? That's a 1950s uh, b b circular skirt. Without the hems done. Uh, this is confetti on charcoal. Oh, there it is. We were missing this fabric yesterday. It's here today. So this is confetti charcoal. Nice, isn't it? Like the colour, you've got ochre, pink and turquoise and pastel pink. All on the charcoal background. 30% off that one. Right, I need to tell you, there's only 10 metres that left in total. Only 10 metres left in total. And I can't imagine we'll get it again. Little circular skirt. Right, now this one. We had this one yesterday in um, coral. And I was like, where's the blue? Where's the blue? We had a whole conversation, didn't we, about these aren't buttons, they are bobbins. And then Lorraine messaging going, where's the hole if it's a bobbin? So we think it's now, we think they're buttons with little 
dots on the top. 40% off was 7 99 uh, It is now £4.79 for half a meat. Oh. Nice. Okay, thank you, Jay. Oh, sorry, Jay. Love this one. Love this one. I think it's just called Pink Squares on Purple or something like that, isn't it? It's from the A to Z range. Squares in pinks. A and Z, not A to Z, sorry. A and Z. Or ands. That could be like somebody called Andrew who's trying to be trendy, couldn't it? Ands range. Square fabric. Oh, squares fabric in pinks. That doesn't even make sense. 40% off. Sorry about the ironing, Joe. 5 99 It is now £3.50. Don't shake your head like this. This is still your show. You should be proud of what you put on my table. Three pounds and fifty. He's blaming Wendy's press now. Three pounds and fifty-nine pence for half a meter. I like that. I like those two colours together. Thank you, Joe. Oh, now this might make you your eyes go a bit funny. We will be getting this again. So obviously this is just the end of the range. Nakawa. Now this is a gingham that's printed. It's not woven. Wait to see the price. Two ninety nine for half a meter. It was four ninety nine. It is now two ninety nine. Now I think at home it'll just look like let lilac fa excuse me, lilac fabrics. That's got a gingham in there though. Gingham lilac. It's a print. When you buy that, whatever you do, don't cut. If you're thinking you're cutting a straight line, don't cut along the pattern, because obviously there's a... Oh, hang on, that's the wrong order now. If you don't cut along... Uh, if you cut along... It, it's printed. Yours goes first. Right. Love, love, love. I wonder why this is here. I don't know why this is here. It's called Bessie. From the Tilda range. It's the only, it's the only Tilda... Of, oh. Tilda Bessie Blue. Oh, we've got less than 10 metres. Less than 10 metres. It was 7 99 for half a metre. Now £5.79. Bessie Blue. It's nice, isn't it? Okay, I need well, two more fabrics to show you. I've only got two more fabrics to show you. Now this one, all, I thought this one had sold out. It's very difficult to see on your telly, though. Do you remember we had the jersey the other day? This isn't jersey, this is cotton, obviously. And I said it's very Gucci-esque, very Chanel-esque. Well, I think the same about this fabric. But if you come in close, can you see? It's trinkets fabric, and it's blue spots on black, it says. 40% off. Now, I can see in there some olive. Even though it says blue spots on black. Oh. No, camera's not liking that fabric. Now, the spot is, let me put my hand in. Look, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny print, that one. But it's lo I think it's lovely. It'd be lovely as a binding or a backing or something like that. And then my last fabric is of trinkets. Now, you see, I had this the other day. I think this is lovely. The colour. Very vintage. From the trinkets, like I said, black on green. Forty percent off. Yeah, now I can see cactuses in there. What, like as in you are fourteen stone five? Oh, reptiles is what uh, Hannah can see. Oh, I can't see that at all. No, nobody in here can see that. Jay can see his camouflage outfit that he wears. Oh, no, he's seen something else. He's seen birds now. Butterflies. I'd love, to, I'd love to know what's going on in Jay's head. Jay can see butterflies. Let's hope we don't have butterflies at the wedding then. Right, you will be... Oh, we'll have nervous. Yeah, what food will there be, Hannah wants to know. <laughs> Poor old boy. He's only asked her two days ago. She only said yes two days ago. Mind you, she rang me this morning. She said, might be off now. Might be off. She said they'd had words just on Christmas Day, and that was it. No, don't, don't have rows. Like, he doesn't get stressed. Right, and I've got a fat quarter. Only one. Uh, there's more than one of them, though, aren't there? Yeah. 11 
14 pounds and 99 pence. I like this one because you've got the flowers. You've got the dots and stripes. You've got more flowers. You've got more dots and stripes. You've got more flowers. Six fat quarters there. 11.99. It's two pounds each. It's two pounds a fat quarter, look. Now, I also need to tell you, <coughs> excuse me, everything that's been in the winter sale is on our website. If you go to our front page, a www front page, if you go to our website, www.sewingquarter.com, on the front page, there's a thing flicking around, there's 50% fabrics, there's winter sale. Click on it, and it takes you to everything that's been put in the winter sale. Now, some of them will be sold out, so you have to click on them to find out what's still available. But you see there, that, so some of that one, that's Serengeti, isn't it, that one? Yep, light leopards, that one's Dashwood, it's lovely, that. We had, yesterday, we had the fabric with just the leopards on. So that's available, you see, now, I don't know how long it's going to be there for. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to do, I'm not trying to add, what's it, what's it? Undue pressure. But I don't know how long it's going to be there for, I really don't know. Haley's coming in in a little while, oh no, after you've gone, so I can't tell you, I can't tell you. Oh, I, th I thought I was going over there next, but I'll do the tins. No, I'll do the tins, I'll do the tins. It's going to come back to the tins, but it's fine. I'll do as I'm told. Which one do you want to see first? Oh, which one? I've got sock zebra, sock monkey, and teddy in a tin. Oh, yes, Limpy Bear. Limpy Bear, yeah, sorry. Hot water bottle. Wee Willow and Key nightcap. But he's got a scarf as well. And a blanket to sit on. And a birth certificate. So this is Steve Bear. Now, everything you need is in there. I'm not going to open it. But everything you need is in there. It's already made. Have we got the still? Everything you need is in there, including the wadding. And basically, the bear's already made. Oh, I will open it. Did not seen these before. I'll just open it up. Right, so, there's the bear. Oh, he looks a bit confused. Oh. There's the bear. There's the wadding. When you open it up, whew, then you get, you get all the instructions as well, look. Oh, dear, hang on. Right. Yeah, yeah, you're going sashaying or whatever it's called, sashing. All the instructions you need, all photographed. Now, you can give this one to a child with, obviously, with supervision, because you don't need a needle as such, because this is your needle. That's your needle and thread, look. So there's no sharp needle in this tin. And then what you'll see is, once you've stuffed the teddy bear, down his back, there you go. Can you see? Oh, no, you might not be able to see that. There's holes. Oh, no, you can't see it on the telly there. There's holes where you put your stuffing in and you stitch it up. So you, you don't even have to punch your holes into it. There's his hot water bottle. There's his wee willy winky nightcap cap. There's his blanket. Or is that his pillow? Is that his blanket, then? There's his blanket. And there's his little scarf. Oh. Uh, well, look at this. Was ten ninety nine. It's now six fifty nine. How much is that off then? I work that out. Seven pounds. So four pounds off. About forty percent, is it? That's what that forty percent would be. Four pounds. Yeah, I think it's forty percent. Yes, it is. I've just worked out in my head, and Hannah's got a computer upstairs to work it out. You know, yes, it is. But oh no, he's got a birth certificate. It's got a map. Because the sleepy teddy bear, every sleepy teddy bear needs a map. Where's he going, do you reckon? Oh, there's his house. Why is that? Isn't that a symbol for a boy? Oh, no, I think that's the churchyard. Then there's a birds. And then what's the mountain there? And lake. What do you think, what? Bridge. Oh, you think it's like long grass. I thought it was bird's feet. Like a giant seagull. Anyway, they're very, very popular. We had loads of animals. So just go to the website, see whichever ones are still there. 
So that's the sleepy bear. And then what happens is he lives in the tin, you see, afterwards. He lives all in the tin. Then, these are slightly different, these. I've not seen one of these. And that's the one I haven't seen. Sock monkey in a tin. It's called apples to pears, sock monkey tin. It was 10.99, now 6.59. Ooh! That was the tin opening and me being startled by the lovely socks in there. Right, so in there, you get thread. Oh, you got a picture of that, I don't need to open that. You got the, there you go, so it tells you how to make the monkey out of the sock look. So you use one sock for that bit and the other sock for that bit. You've got buttons, you've got thread, you've got a needle and you've got a pair of socks. Six, and a tin, six pounds and 59 pence. And you end up with a lovely rainbow stripe. Now, are they all gonna be rainbow stripes? I believe so. I believe so. And the stuffing, you must get the stuffing. And you get the stuffing, and you get the stuffing. So, yeah, but then I suppose what you could do is when you've got the pattern, you could make more, but you'd have to get your own buttons for eyes, you'd have to get your own stuffing, your own socks, your own thread. Might have that already. Won't get the tin, though. And then another sock one is the zebra. Oh, now this zebra's got two stuffings for some reason. Oh, it's already been opened, this one. Oh, excuse me. No, it's all, I think it's all here. No, it isn't. A, the, you, yours will be complete, I promise. Yours will be complete. There's no hair in this one. There's no mane in this one. So that's what yours will look like. That's what it looks like there. So you get a pair of socks, you get the eyes and the nostrils. You also get two balls of wool to make the mane and the tail. What else now? What else do you get? Oh, right, now that pink thing is not a tongue. It's a needle threader. Oh, and you do get two, you do get two waddings in that, look. Uh, my producer told me it was a tongue. Anyway, £6.59, yours will have everything. Jay? Is he ignoring me now? They're not, no, Jay, they're nice socks, actually. How much are 6 59 Who's trying to make it? Oh, Jay was trying to make it in the break. Where is he? Now we've got the phone to um, Danny. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Jay, where's the hair? There's the pattern. Little Paul's got three days off now, everyone. Getting his pet ferret. Right. Well, might as well, shall I go over to the thing or shall I carry on here? I've got Sizzix and I've got Hexes. If you've got one of the Sizzix um, die cutters, it's the shot, isn't it? The Sizzix. The big shot, this fits. Then um, we, have, we couldn't find, we think somebody's nicked the Ted, that we made this. Ange, who was the, who was the um, demonstrator, made it and it's gone missing. What's 34.99? It's now 27 pounds and 99 pence. If you haven't got a big shot, a Sizzix big shot, then don't buy this. Because it's only, it's like cutting out, it's for cutting out perfectly. So it's just the softy, the big, Sizzix Biggs Dog Softy Die by Debbie Porter. Was well, 34.99, now 27 pounds and 99 pence. All the names there. Anyway, that's that. Then I've got, now these are nice. Oh, I've only got three, I've only got three. This is my first one. Now these are intricate. Victoria Pete would love these. 
English paper piecing. Now, it's just the paper pieces you get and some instructions. I'll open it out for you and show you. Look at these. You're going to love these because they're tiny. I couldn't do these. My, I'd be all fingers and thumbs with these. Look at these little hexes. They're tiny, teeny, weeny. Now, it makes approximately a finished quilt of 18 or top 18 and a half by 20 and a half. Let me just show you. That's about, I don't know, doesn't say. No. Oh, there you go. Oh, no. Yeah, 47 by 52. That was 16.99. But look, look at the instructions, right? So you get the little, you get the hexes. Then you get all the instructions. How to create the little hexy um, pattern. Eleven pounds and eighty-nine pence was sixteen ninety-nine, but they're brilliant. Can you reuse those as well? Reuse them, but they are tiny. You have to have a lot of patience to do those. It even has an instruction if you've never done it before of how to attach, how to take the fabric round it, whether it's a hexy, a diamond, or a heart, or a arch. They're all in there. Oh, sorry. What they did was they put all the different shapes on there so they didn't have to do a different one for each shape. Right, okay, that goes in there, that goes in there. It's called Antique Garden, that one. Jay just came running in, is there a problem? Sue's messaged him. She, she bought some Christmas sale fabric and how lovely it comes, the way it was sent. Yes. Right, okay, so what, when, what Sue said is she bought some different Christmas fabrics. They arrived in one of these boxes, which all of our fabric, if you buy it by the half meter, that fabric, comes in a box like this. It's got a, oh, that one's already started splitting, right? But everyone says how good quality the cardboard is. They use it to store in. And then inside, um, we show it wrapped in tissue paper, which it is. But if you buy more than one fabric, they come in the bag with the item code on a little silver sticker outside, like this. You get in a bag like this, each piece of fabric with the silver sticker, so you know which fabric it is. So if you want to either reorder or you want to say to us, have you got something to go with this? We know which fabric it actually is. And she said it was beautifully presented. So, that, that, so if you buy any of these, they will come in that. Thank you. Right, so I've done that one. So let's move on to all oh, that tumbling. Tumbling blocks. Well, they've called it tumbling colours. They've called this one. Now, obviously, they're all your uh, cardboard. Now, what we say is uh, get a hole punch, punch a hole in the middle. So when you pull them out, they're easier to pull out and you can use them again and again and again. But this is this one. Well, this one will create. You need um, dark fabric, medium coloured fabric, and light fabric. Uh, half a yard of each. Background, you'll need one and an eighth yard. Backing, you'll need 42 by 40. Batting, you'll need 42 by 40. And binding, you'll need a third of a yard. But that's what it says to, to create that. And again, all the instructions in there. Now, this is what you're doing, isn't it? Hannah's doing one of these at the moment. And what she's doing is she's doing a block like that. And then she has all cream ones around it. And then she has another block and all cream ones around it. Isn't that right? Kind of. That was the picture I was sent, anyway. So all pieces to make to include, no fabrics, no fabrics, no fabrics included. 38 by 36 uh, inch finished size. Was 16.99, now 11.89. So that goes in there. And then last but not least in this one, this is the, called the basket quilt, this one. I love this one. Now, I'll show you the, um, the picture on the front first. So each block has a slightly different uh, basket in the middle. And here you go, here's all the, here's all the instructions for all the different baskets. Look. So there's the overall, there it is a bigger size, so you can see it. And then look, these are all the different baskets. That was like the brooch Lucy had on yesterday, wasn't it? Hannah saying, yeah, Hannah wasn't even here yesterday. You, you, you going, yes, you weren't even here yesterday. 
She was busy having curry. What did you have for your lunch yesterday, then? Oh, I shan't say what I thought she said. She had a wrap. I thought she said wrap. I was going to say, well, I know it's very modern in your village. Uh, anyway, look, all the pieces, <coughs> all the pieces you need. I'm not going to open it because it's a seal bag. All the different shapes that you need to create, all the baskets, all the panels, everything. Obviously, no fabric, just uh, all the instructions and all the... Um, Templates was seventeen ninety nine. It's now twelve pounds and fifty nine pence. Oh, that was Tom falling off the camera. Right, have I got anything else on this side? No, I haven't. Got to go over to the cloth kit side now, so I'll let Jay tidy all that up, and he can go and find the hair from the. Oh no, I have. I have. It's not already made up. It's not already made up. It's a two-tiered lampshade. That's the larger size. It's very boring to show it's just a cardboard box with some bits in it. I'm not going to complain. Right. So, you get this. You get this. So, that makes your top one. This one makes your bottom one. These are the bits that go round it. That's the bottom, so you can't see the light bulb. That's your sticky tape. And these are all your very, very, very thorough instructions. And oh, there is a plectrum. There's two plectrums as well, look. Was $21.99, now £13.99. You know, uh, Amanda Wyatt, she's got her own shop. She has all these, all in different shapes and sizes, all hanging all around her, uh, in her shop. Anyway. And um, if you want, they'll make them for you in there. Because um, Simon's, if Simon can make them, anyone can make them, I'm telling you there. Do you know what? There's something very, very weird going on. I was just standing here then thinking, the air coming out of that air conditioning machine is so hot now. It's gone freezing cold again. Just gone freezing cold. Right, and if you want to, so hang on, that size, that size, that size. Sorry, I should have said this. That tiered one was 40 by 30 and 45 centimetres high. This tiered one is 30 by 20 and 38 centimetres high. Oh, Hannah. That's this one. Oh, no, that's that, right. That's that one, 14.99. Sorry, everyone. It's kicking in now. She wants to go home to bed, but she's got to stay in prep tomorrow, I'll show you. Then this is the smaller one. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. Get it right in the end. <coughs> 13 pounds and 19 pence. Right. Now let's go and do cloth kits. I need to have a drink of water, sorry. <clears throat> Cloth kits. It's a cloth kit shop. It's even hotter in the cloth kit shop than it is over there in the main shop. Right, what are we going to do first? Right, that one there, 1950s tea dress. Just the pattern. That's the tea dress finished. That one was made by uh, Jennifer Mills, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 40 cent of next, just the pattern. It's just the pattern, it's just the pattern. This is the pattern here. Was 12 99 It's now seven pounds and 79 pence. Really good quality paper. And then the sizes are on, oh, I'll tell you what they are first. Oh no, I won't, because I've got my, brought my glasses with me. You can read them, can you there? I'll put my glasses on then instead. Right. Size is 8 to 16. 16 is 101 centimetre bust, 83 centimetre waist, and 97 centimetre hip. You need three metres of fabric. Um, and it's gorgeous. Designed by us, made for you, 1950s tea dress. That's what it looks like made up. She looks so miserable, didn't she, that girl there? 12.99 was... 
now seven pounds and 79 pence. Right, then the shift dress. The what, what? I know. Here's now, uh, they call this a shift dress. I would call it a shift top because it's, th uh, it's that one and it's that one. So I'd wear it with like, well, I wouldn't wear it at all, me personally, but if Anna was wearing it, she'd wear it with leggings or um, jeans or something like that. It's a gorgeous, it's very, very, very popular. Swing frock paper sewing pattern. It was 12 .99. It is now seven pounds and 79 pence. We like that one very much. Did you find the hair for the, ze for the zebra? Oh. It's not there, you have to find it. It's orange and yellow. It's just shaking his head. Right, okay. Now, the, this one, we haven't made this one. This pattern. Never made this one. The thing is, I seem to remember somebody talking about it because it's got pockets in it. So we have talked about it in the past. I'll just turn it around. Seven seventy nine again. Size is through from an eight to a twenty. You need about two and a half meters of fabric for that one. And the, as, you, as we said, the paper pattern inside is really, really, really good quality paper. It's not that flimsy. You know, normally on a pattern, it's that very, very fine, fine paper. This is good quality paper. Seven pounds and seventy nine pence. So there are three patterns. Now my other lady's clothes are. The red wiggle skirt, which is hanging up there. Now, this isn't a pattern. This actually comes already cut out, and uh, not cut out, already printed on the fabric. Up to a size 18. I'll show you now, I'll open it for you. Was 28, look at that price drop. 28.99 to 17 pounds and 39 pence. So that's this one. And this is what you always think of with cloth kits, isn't it? You don't really think of paper patterns with cloth kits. You think of the actual garment printed on to the fabric. So there you've got the front panel upside down, the two uh, back panels. You've got the facing for the waist. Okay, but you also get thread. You also get the zip. And you also get the instructions. 40%, was that 40% off? Was $28.99. It's now £17.39. Nice. Now, we also, do, I won't open this one. We also do the wiggle skirt in blue. Exactly the same, but it's like, I'll show you that side there. Like a denim -y blue with a dark indigo. Was well, twenty eight ninety nine. It's now seventeen pounds and thirty nine pence. Sizes eight to eighteen. All the sizes are already printed on the fa on the fabric. You just need to cut the one out that you need. Follow the instructions. Make yourself a sweet little skirt. Now another skirt that we've got. Actually, I didn't know we had this. No, I haven't got that, so I don't know why that's there. Yeah, which we um, haven't got. Right, okay, okay, I'll move on, I'll move on, I'll move on. What's this one first? House. Now, this one, oh, I'll show you inside. This bundle comes with the wadding. It makes this sweet little house. You see, that's the outside of the house. And that's the inside of the house. It also comes with a family of four. And when we did this the first time, which you can make, and I got in trouble because I put the lady there, and I put the man up there, and I put the child there. Anyway, look, I'll show you. And we have to be 40% off this. So you get the wadding, but look, everything is printed on the piece of fabric. Oh, it's really good quality cotton, this. Lovely, like a cotton twill. There you go. So you get the house, you get the dad with the beard, the mum with the hair, the little girl with green hair, and the little boy that look, is modelled on um, Ginger Mike, and the instructions of how to make it. 
Cute, isn't it? How much is it? 11.99. 11 pounds and nine, 10 pence. So you get the, the whole of the house, the people, the wadding, and the instructions for 11.99. Ah, there we go, so that goes in there like that. I'll put that in there like that. Righty-ho. Then the other one I've got, oh, now this. This is multi-purpose. Now this is a little, it's a little padded mat that you can put the baby down on. Right, on the other side, it's a changing mat. It's like a white downable um, mat. Um, hang on. Because then this also, is, this is a bag, right? What happens is, is you attach that to there, Velcro to Velcro. Hmm. Come on. And then it turns into a bag, look, a satchel. So you can carry, there you go, a baby changing bag. Uh, it, it's got the baby changing mat inside it, but you can also carry other things in there as well because there's pockets on it, look. But when you get home and the baby wants a play mat, Or, 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 hang on, nappies, bottle, rattle, oh, big rattle, big nappies. It comes into a wall hanging as well. And then on the other side, it's that you can put the baby down. 20 pounds and 19 pence was 34.99. Was 34.99. You get everything, you get all the fabric, you get all the fabric, look. And the Velcro, fabric, Velcro, even the plasticized uh, spot ons in there. I'm down to single figures of this, though. I am down to single figures. Well, it is the last clearance day. No, the last official hour of the winter sale. The last official hour of the winter sale. But all this is going on the website. So if you want to go and have a look at the website, please do. I don't know how long it's going to be there for. And Haley's not in for another 45 minutes, so I can't tell you. Right. Have I done everything? No, they weren't here the other day. They weren't here the other day. But I don't know why. I've, is that not in? Definitely not in it then. Okay. Oh, we found the trousers. Thank you, Joe. No, no, no. We didn't find the actual trouser trousers. The trousers have gone. Yeah. But we had got this. This is available. So, Jay, why is this? Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. These are lovely. Now, at least one to three. Yeah, ages one to three. Red needle cord trousers. Do we love these? So, obviously, that's one leg. That's the other leg. There's pockets. There's um, facings for the waist if you want to make them into a drawstring or elasticated waist trouser. Was $21.99. 40% off, £13.19. I think they're adorable. We did make them. We have made them. We've made them twice, in fact. We can't find them. We think. We don't know anyone who's got a three-year-old that might have taken them home. Janice, maybe, because um, Amy could have fitted into them. And then um, elastic thread and instructions. Right. You need to switch. I think you switched me off. Oh, yeah. Nessie. Okay, Nessie has made this, this top, the swing dress, swing frock. That's the pattern there, cloth kit, swing frock, paper sewing pattern. Was $12.99, now £7. And, oh, wow. That's nice, Nessie. So now, have you patched the fabric, or was that the print of the fabric? Wow, that's lovely. Oh, like that. So that's what you can do. That's what you can do with it. Okay, I've got nothing else, have I? Come on, then. Oh, this is Paul's tape measure here. Uh, uh, uh. Paul's tape measure. I'll take it back to him in a minute. Right, what's first? The tins. The which one? Sleepy Bear. Single figures on Sleepy Bear. 
Apple's phone. 10 year to 10, sleepy bear, it was 10.99, now 6.59, less, less than 10, single figures. Oops, you won't get this one, you won't get that one, don't worry. I'll have that one. Sock monkey, less than 10 of these. I didn't open that one, I did I? Less than 10 of these now. Right, and then, this one, there's loads of these. Why don't you like the zebra? Is it because I couldn't show you the tail? It's Jay's fault. You do get wool to make the tail and the uh, mane in orange and yellow. We didn't, oh, did we have a thing, did we have a thing of that? Well, it's 10 .99. it's now £6.59. You get a pair of socks, you get the pattern, you get the buttons for the nose, the buttons for the eyes, the two lots of um, stuffing. Oh, now, there are, two, there are two lots of wool. In fact, there's three lots of wool. There's black, there's yellow, and there's orange. You can, you can, I think it's underneath. It's all on the same card. It's just underneath. Maybe that's why Jay couldn't find it. Right, am I going home? Oh, no, not yet. I've got 10 minutes yet. What's next? Fat quarter bundle. Three flowers, three spots and stripes. Nice. 11.99. Was 14.99. At now 11 pounds and 99 pence. If you've got it in your basket, please check out. It's not yours, remember, until you check out. Uh, now, obviously, if you go through, uh, we'll go through the winter sale in a minute. I'll show you the winter sale again before I go home. Right. Yep. Okay. Red cross hatch. Oh, do you not want to do it like that? You want to tell me? No, no, you tell me. Red cross hatch. Just going to give you an update because some of them might have sold out. 10 metres of the red cross hatch left in the company. They'll not be getting it again. It's nice. It's really, really lovely. I don't know if on the telly it looks as good as it does in real life. 40% off. That's obviously a metre there. 40% off. It's like an uneven crisscross, isn't it? Look. Lovely. Right. I'll give that to Jay. Right. Which next? In green. Okay, triangles in green. 17 metres of this I've got. Sounds a lot, but it takes a few of you to buy a couple of metres, and that's it, isn't it? Was 7 99 now £4.79. Nice. Oh, apples, the summer... Oh, Jay, well done. Apples. See, I think that'd be lovely for the summer, wouldn't it? Four pounds and 79 pence for half a metre. Less than 20 metres, that. Uh, then I've got cross hatching green. Have I got enough time to do all these? What's the matter? He doesn't like to be seen in the shot, that's all. Cross hatching green. 12 metres of that left. I don't know if I've got time to... Shall I just very quickly go through all these? So I've got triangles in chartreuse. There you go. Well, seven, nine, ten. It's all organic, remember this. All organic fabric, this. Okay, that's the chartreuse. Then we've got the... Thanks, Joe. Then we've got the pink triangles. What's well, 7 Now £4.79. Oh. Lots of you got that in your basket. 
Lots, catch day. Lots of you got that in your basket. Right, um, Gerbra. Oh, there's only seven meters this left. 30% off. I love it. It's called Sunshine, that one. Sunshine on a rainy day. Makes me. 489 half meter for a K facet fabric. Yes, please. Lovely. I'll pass that one to Jay. Pears on green on aqua. Organic. Four seventy nine for half a meter. Please check out your baskets. Right, and I've also got the pairs in um, pink on yellow. I like this one. It's quite busy, but I quite like it. Four seventy nine for half a meter organic, certified, like Hannah should be. Four seventy nine. I think the Guinness is kicking in now, everyone at home. Cross hatch in blue. Only about five meters this one left. I like it. It's posh. I think that's very posh fabric, isn't it? That one. Navy it is, sorry, not blue. <clears throat> Four pounds and 79 pence for half a meter. Love. Which one? This one, the confetti. Right, loads of this has gone today. Which a third of it's all been checked out and sold. Won't be much of that left now then. Was six fifty. Now four pounds and fifty-five pence. Oh, I tell you what, aren't we missing floral splendor? That one you love, aren't we? Wonder where that's got to. Right, confetti in grey. Well, that's nice, isn't it? I see that make a lovely, like, 50s frock, that. Or 6 50 Now £4.55. Loads and loads of you that in your basket. Please check, make sure you check out. I'm going in about five minutes' time, but please check out. Please, please, please check out. Uh, double figures of people in baskets. We don't know how much they've got. Then we've got buttons. You all right, Tom? Tom was looking at something. I couldn't quite figure out what it was. Oh, he wasn't looking at all. I'll tell you, oh, and then you just wobbled. Uh, 7 99 was, and now 4 79 for half a metre. Right, I thought Tom was looking like this around the camera. He was actually going like that, scratching himself. Right, pink and purple squares. Love. Three fifty nine for half a metre. Three pounds and 59 pence for, for half a metre. Lilac gingham. Right. Loads you in for this, Lilac gingham. Please check out your baskets, Hannah's saying. 2 99 Was 4 99 for half a metre. Macau fabric, you know, it's good quality. Oh, if you've sent a message to him, we haven't read it out. I do apologise. It's flashing at Hannah to say there's messages, but there's nothing there when she looks at it. It's been playing. What will happen is just after we come off air to let them all through again. Because uh, the same thing happened yesterday. Bessie Blue from Tilda was $7.99. There's only five metres left in the whole company now. Lovely. Jay, Jay, come on. I've only got two left to show you. Now, this one's quite difficult to look at. No, no, quite difficult to see. Not quite difficult to look at. 3.29 for half a metre, this one. Jay's been catching them all, it's fine. Trinkets tan. Oh, I said I could see some tan in there earlier, didn't I? Sorry, I didn't read that bit. Oh, thanks for helping me out with that one, Hannah. 3.29 for half a metre. Last one. Thanks, Jay. Oh, now they're all piling up there, aren't they? It's getting a bit slow. Last one. 
This is the one. Now, this is the one that Jay thinks looks like butterflies. Hannah thinks it looks like reptiles. Timothy thinks it looks like a cactus. Tom didn't say anything. What did I say? Clouds. Yeah. Yeah. Tom's got no idea what it looks like. Jane loves it, though. Three twenty-nine for half a metre. It's trinkets fabric, black on green. Right, messages come through very quickly. Got to do the menu as well. I've oh, got two and a half minutes, Jay, thanks. Oh, do you want this one as well to put it in the... No, no, I'll leave that. Oh, on me. I love that quilt behind you. Where can I get the pattern from? Tomorrow, apparently. He said definitely one of mine tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm doing, uh, well, Hannah and I are both doing, um, all the top, the, well, have a, have a look at the, have a look at the um, menu for tomorrow, and then I'll explain what it is when I've done the menu. Right, Golden Girl jacket, that's with Paul Clark, that's a PU jacket. Now, at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock, we're doing all the best quilt kits of 2017, which the one behind me is one of. And then at 10 o'clock, uh, So Easy Style, that's a dress. That's a lovely dress that Paul's doing in Jersey. So, it's very important to tell you this quickly before I go home. Please, please, please go to the website for anything in the winter sale. Because everything that we've put in the winter sale is now on the website. Now, some of it will have sold out. Some of it will definitely have sold out, but it'll all be there. You'll need to click on it. So go to www.sewingquarter.com. This is what you'll see. There's the winter sale. You click on there. And everything comes up, right? Fabrics, I keep going, right? There's fabrics, there's the plastic box that I want. Oh, it's gone. It's moved. There's that, there's that, oh no, that's a different fat quarter. There you go, oh, these are, there you go, there's the Sizzix we've just had. Uh, what else? Oh, there's that, there's that thing. Oh no, that's just it. We were meant to have that tool today, but we couldn't find it, it's on the website. Now, somebody messaged in yesterday saying that their son had bought them that um, Tatty Divine sewing necklace. Because look at the price. It's gone down to $17.99. But go to the website, peruse it all. Um, I don't know when that's coming off. I don't know when that's all coming off, personally. I've got to go home now. Well, I don't have to, but I am. Um, uh, join me tomorrow for definitely, definitely, if you know anyone who's loved the best quilts of 2017. Please check out your baskets. Please go and check out the winter sale on the web. And, or well, something else. What was the other thing I had to say? I don't know either. Anyway, thanks ever so much for your company. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. And Paul's here again tomorrow. Is it New Year's Eve tomorrow? It's New Year's Eve tomorrow. Wow. Uh, thanks ever so much for your company. Jay, leave that alone. I'll see you tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. Join us on Tuesday, the 2nd of January, as Angie Atwood creates three stunning cushions from one grid. Angie's new 2018 patchwork template will inspire you to sew a stunning new cushion for your home. It's the perfect way to refresh your decor when all the Christmas decorations are packed away. Angie has designed three color schemes that would beautifully enhance your home. Choose from a forest fusion colorway that's inspired by shades of nature, a jewel design that's delightfully decadent with teal and fuchsia hues, and a classic red, white, and blue combination. So don't miss this exciting show with Angie at 10 a.m. on Tuesday the 2nd of January, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78.